was in exactly one year to the day we have to start applying for university? That's cool. Wait, how do you know that? What can I say? I'm an organizational machine. I am so gonna rock the preppy collegiate look. Uh, feels like just yesterday I was chasing the boob. Uh, it was just yesterday? With that new hottie at the penalty box? Oh, yeah. She was hot. Hey, are you guys gonna go to university together, Nikki? Why are you asking Nikki? Because Nikki's the go-to person in your relationship. Totally. Totally. Nikki's not the go-to person. Wait, what's a go-to person? In every couple, there's one person who makes the decisions and has all the answers. In your relationship, that's Nikki. What? I'm totally the go-to person. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whatever. In your dreams. Well, I've always wanted to go to Banting. They have an amazing poli-sci program, but it is pretty tough to get into. Are you saying I don't have the goods to get into your dumb school? No, I'm saying you don't have the goods to get into my smart school. Don't let the good looks fool you. Up here is a well-oiled machine. If you say so. I'll prove it with this. Hmm, an IQ test? They're doing them in that tent right over there. This will be like taking candy from a baby. Babies have it made. Boobs and candy. Ah. Oh. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together. In a place where we belong. I'm sick. Caffeine in the world won't help you pass the test. See you at the IQ tent at three. Hey, don't be late. Ah, oh, the sound of hot air escaping an empty brain cavity. Aren't you even the least bit worried? No offense, but in the IQ department, Nikki's got you licked. I don't need book smarts. I got something way more valuable. Limited edition hockey cards? No, dude, street smarts and guy smarts. You make up for what you don't have, in confidence. It's about knowing you're the best, even if you're not. Can't wait to see this. All right, team huddle. I have a very important announcement. After six long seasons, this coach is taking a time out in beautiful Los Cabos. You're going on vacation? Nice. Yes! My friend Jane here will be calling the shots while I'm gone. She has her own chain of sporting goods stores, a degree in sports <gasps> medicine, a zero handicap in golf, and she still has time to supply soccer balls to poor kids in developing countries. I'm really excited to be part of the penalty box team. I hope we can all learn a lot from each other. Okay. Wow. Wowie. Wow. Wow. Ahem. <clears throat> You're standing on my foot? Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Pirates of the Penguin Sea, Dumber and Dummy is part four, The Dumbening, I Talk to Dead Cats. Oh, why can't anyone make a good movie anymore? Mm -hmm. Hear that, bro. Something with heart, something with soul, something that makes you think about the devastating purity of the human spirit. Something with checks. You said it. Oops, almost forgot. Booty in the Burrow? You rented Booty in the Burrow? Nah, they're my mom's. She asked me to return them. Why? They good? It's a chick series about dating in your 30s. Lonely and single Carla wants more than a one night stand, but she's looking for love with all the wrong guys. Dude, there's sex in H-E-R-E. <laughs> I spelled the wrong word. <laughs> you go, girl. Just drop the DVDs in the return slot so we can get out of here. You 
look like you could use a new SX360 to go with your tennis balls. It's super lightweight, and it'll help you shed those unwanted love handles. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, another sale bites the dust. Jen, what are you doing? Coach always makes us take a five-minute major for losing a sale. Get out of there. Your job isn't to sell customers things they don't need. It isn't? You're doing a great job, Jen. The way you handled that bungled shipment today, amazing. You can even cash out tonight if you like. Oh, I'd like. Coach doesn't think I can count to ten, let alone cash out. Oh, one last thing. You're not following through on your backhand. See? Twice the power. Ow! Nice shot. <laughs> Okay. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. No cheat sheets, wiretaps, or camera phones. He's clean. The fact that you think I would cheat on this test hurts me deeply. Let the IQing begin. You've got two hours. I have to write a test for two whole hours? On your mark, get set, start writing. Go, Go Do you have that ruby rouge lip shine you always wear? Never leave home without it, why? Jane wears it too. Maybe it would look good on me. Who's Jane? Only the best manager ever! Shh! Sorry. Time's up, pencils down. What? Hey, I wasn't finished! You are now. The results should be ready in a few hours. So? So, how badly did I kick your butt? Or so, how does it feel to be so brilliant? Oh no, you've broken your brain. Um, that was my pencil. Pencil. I can see how someone of your intelligence might get the two confused. I'm off to find a job worthy of my advanced intelligence. New Jersey Sweet Potatoes is hiring. Actually, Things That Beep is looking for a computer technician. They could use someone like me. Yeah, to clean out the trash cans for the real geniuses. Nikki thinks she's won now, but she'll be sorry. Yeah, so, uh, I could get in a lot of trouble for selling counterfeit tests if my identity was to become known. Your secret is safe with me. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, busted. So Nikki was right. You are cheating. Wait, aren't you a little late? You already wrote the test. Like I could cheat with Nikki watching me like a hawk. I had to think outside the test box. A little bait and switch, and presto, I'm declared a genius. Isn't it much better to win fair and square? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. If I let Nikki win, there'll be no living with her. I'm cheating for the good of our relationship. This goes against everything I believe in. Luckily, I don't believe in anything, so it's all good. What if Edna sees you? What if you get caught? What if I get arrested for guilt by association? Dude, chill. The Jonesmeister may not be a genius when it comes to books and numbers and stuff, but I'm the Stephen Hawking of the bait and switch. Watch and learn. Excuse me, I think you dropped these. Gosh, what a polite young man. <laughs> Where'd you learn to do that? These things can't be taught, Wyatt, my man. You've either got it or you don't. Do I got it? No. <sighs> okay, booty in the burrow, time to entertain me. I've never enjoyed being caught in the rain so much. What's your name, handsome? Uh, your umbrella's uh, poking me in the eye. Awesome! <laughs> Players are for paying customers only. But I need to know what happens with the pretty chick and the handsome dude. <laughs> Hands off my booty and the burrow. <laughs> Later. Slow down. Where's the fire? I need my lip shine back. I'm starting to chap. I've 
afternoon, girls. <gasps> Jen? I is that you? Nikki? Caitlin? I'd like you to meet my new manager, Jane. Good call on the lip shine. Thanks. We should probably get started on the stockroom. Love to stay and chat. But Jane's gonna show me how to stack golf balls into a pyramid. <gasps> Circles into triangular form? Oh, fun. That's what I said. <laughs> 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 That's crazy! Jen is totally Jane's mini-me. Huh. Jen really needs to learn to be her own person. It's crazy because if there's anyone Jen should be copying, it's me! Just be careful. Mr. Handsome is a notorious womanizer. Someone so cute can't be wrong. What's life without a little risk? Don't do it, brah! You're better than that! <laughs> I'm okay! I just... I just don't understand. Jude! What are you doing here? Watching my stories? Well, you can't do it in here. There isn't enough room for you, me, Jane, and all our golf balls. There's gotta be somewhere I can watch my stories. <laughs> Ron's out doing his rounds. Wicked. Whatever happens, I'll be here for you. Nikki Wong, top five percentile. <laughs> Read it and wait, sucker. Wait it, go. That's our Nikki. Oh, come on. Don't rush me. I want to savor the moment. The moment before you lose. <laughs> I didn't do as well as I had thought. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew it! I did better! Top one percentile! I believe you were saying something about read it and weep? Jonesy Garcia, certified genius? It's okay, I gotcha. Maybe there was some kind of mistake. I'll field this one since I'm obviously the go-to person now. Only mistake is you guys underestimating me. I am the smartest! I am the smartest! I am the smartest! I am the smartest! <laughs> She's doing it wrong. It goes extra, extra small, extra small, small. What comes after small? Is there a size after small? It's... it's just not possible. I didn't think so. What are you wearing? This look is for my new job as IT advisor at Things That Beep. <coughs> you got a job as an IT advisor? When they heard about my test scores, Darth offered me the job. But you don't know the first thing about computers. Nikki, I'm a genius. I learn. Here you go, ladies. Jonesy Garcia, top 1% tile. Uh, Mr. Genius? You spelled percentile wrong. Percentile. Hm, looks okay to me. Ugh, I give up. Finally, some peace and quiet so I can watch my stories. I went over to his place and the girl answered the door. Oh, honey, did you slap that good-for-nothing cat? Not exactly. Don't tell me you stayed. Only after the other girl left. Harold, I just don't think things are going to work out for us. Hey, old buddy. Why? If I didn't know better, I'd swear that was the stench of adolescence. Jane likes it full, but not too full. And no pulp. Jane hates pulp. It's a lemon squishy. That's what they are. Pulp. Sorry, no pulp. Jane's orders. Did Jane also order you to talk, act, and dress exactly like her? What's wrong with the way I look? Nothing. It's just that ever since Jane came to town, you haven't been acting like yourself. I think you have a girl crush. That's ridiculous. I like boys. Ah! A girl crush is a non-sexual thing. It's a strong attraction that one girl has for another who is beautiful, sophisticated, charming, and accomplished. Wow, Jude. 
How do you know so much about girl crushes? Carla, uh, I mean, I heard it somewhere. That doesn't sound right. Girl crushes are powerful things, Dudette. Trust me, I have girls crushing on me all the time. For the last time, I don't have a girl crush. Jane is the first person who's ever treated me like an adult. I like and respect her, okay? You're doing a great job, Harold. The way you handled that irate customer? Impressive. <gasps> Did you see that? Jane is totally cheating on Jen. Everyone's cheating. First Jonesy on his IQ test, then Mr. Handsome on Carla, now Jane. What did you just say? Mr. Handsome is cheating on Carla? No, 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 before that. Um, the part where I accidentally let it slip after Wyatt swore me to secrecy that Jonesy cheated on his IQ test? That's the part. Ah, oh, Jonesy has gone too far this time. Oh, poor Jen's in for a broken girl crush heart. This will kill her. I may not have long to live either, brah. All my emails are coming in as weird mime files. Ah, the infamous mime file. Mega irritating mooch email. We'll suck your computer dry. Best thing to do is just ignore it till it goes away. I had my doubts, Garcia, but you have the Jedi gift. I just want to use my vast intellect to make other people happy. My first paycheck! Much better than that, my bad one. You're one of us now. Popcorn. I knew it. My precious security console has been used to play Booty and the Burrow. Sounds tawdry and immoral. Maybe I'm not just another notch on Mr. Handsome's bedpost. Honey, there's no room left on his bedposts. Who's this Mr. Handsome? I hereby call this meeting of poetic geniuses to order. Chrissy? What are you doing here? Just because I'm pretty doesn't mean I'm not smart. I know what a burden looks and brains can be. What do you guys uh, do at these meetings? Sit around and marvel at the size of our brains? Let's see if what they say about you is true. Yeah, let's give someone else a chance. I don't want to be a, a calculus hog. Hey, he looks smart. You watch too many movies. I think we need to talk. About what, gorgeous? You're rampant cheating, that's what. It's either all those other women or me. I picked all the other women. Aha! Caught you, bro. <laughs> You're totally hooked on so, Booty and the Burrow. I don't get why Mr. Handsome doesn't love Carla. A girl like that, cute, sassy, smart as a whip. They come around once in a lifetime, son. Plus, she's got killer style. I hear that. I just don't understand. Nan always said 47 was the answer to all of life's mysteries. Wrong! The answer is X to the power of 10! Nikki was right. You are a rebel imposter. Nikki? You did this? I set you up, Poindexter. You're not a genius, and I just proved it. But why? Because you cheated! I'm gonna kill Wyatt! Did you really think there was such a thing as the poetic geniuses? And that Chrissy's smart enough to be one of them? I am getting a week of unpaid overtime out of you. True. You see what lows you make me stoop to? You know what? You're kind of hot when you're scamming. Please, stop with the hot already. Just admit that I got you. Yeah, but I got you first. Yeah, but I got you better. Fine, let's call it even. <gasps> Where's Jane? I brought her her favorite latte. Hey, thanks for the java. Oh, and uh, Jane left this for you. She didn't even say goodbye? Don't forget to order more sports socks. Jane. Oh, Jane does care. Even though I couldn't afford them, I decided the best way to walk out of Mr. Handsome's life for good 
was with a new pair of sexy shoes. This is the best TV series ever! It's so exactly like our whole lives! Maybe we're bonding a bit too much, dude. What happens in the trenches, son, stays in the trenches. You got that soldier. Now pass me the last bonbon. I love you, Stepbro, but a genius you are not. <laughs> was smart enough to fool all of you. There's all different kinds of genius. Like, I'm a genius with colors and fabrics. And I'm a genius on the ski slopes. And I'm a genius with the beats. Nikki, are you okay? <laughs> She's just mad because Kristen beat her by two points on the IQ test. She must have cheated. I'm just glad I don't have to keep your secret anymore. It was killing me. Speaking of killing someone, anyone seen Jude? What was that all about? When two men emotionally bond, they often feel they must hide their newfound sensitivity, lest they be judged as soft or weak. Dude. Give me those booty DVDs. You've been watching way too many of those. You're starting to freak me out. Yeah, bring back the old Jude. Oh, dude! Let oh, my go. stories! Ah. Oh, no! Does your back pop when you bend? Is the floor too far away to sit on? Are you really old? Try our incredible upright stand and soak tubs. All of the water, none of the bending. Look, George, here's that tub I was telling you about. Tub? Why not call it what it really is, a death trap? Thanks to the safety release door, you may prune, but you'll never drown. Forget it, Gracie. I'm not getting into that crock pot. But you'll loofah your wrinkle behind in Grandma's rusty old pickling vat. It's vintage. So are you. Let's try and stay on track. Some of us are working on commission. Fine. We'll get a claw foot tub. Furniture with feet is unnatural. Says the man with 12 toes. I need them for balance. I never get any support from you. Makes some sense. Then you'll get my support. So you made a terrible mistake getting married all those years ago. We get it. Why not soak your problems away in your very own stand and soak tub? The kid's got a point. We are just not right for each other. What? No, I... 50 years together. What were we thinking? Whoa, I didn't mean... I'm sorry, George. So am I, Gracie. Goodbye. Wait! Come back! Does this mean you don't want the tub? Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together. In a place where we belong. this straight. You broke up a 50-year marriage in your rush to sell a bathtub? It would have been a sweet commission. What 50-year marriage? George and Gracie, aka the Bickersons. Jonesy, they're really old. How could you? It's hard enough dating when you're 16. Imagine how hard it'll be for them. Fix it with George and Gracie, or I'm not speaking to you. But Nikki, ah! My grandparents got married 50 years ago. Never did meet them on account of the fact they were political rebels who went into hiding. They must be as old as the Bickersons by now. Gracie does have straight hair, like moi, and George totally walks like me. Check it. 
Yeah, wow. Just like George. And every other human. Dudes, what if George and Gracie are my grandparents? If they break up, I might never be born. What? No, Jude, it doesn't work like that. A See, Judeless world? That makes no sense. Neither does this. Even if they are your grandparents, it doesn't mean that Dudes, you... Dudes, I need to be born. Okay, I give up. Ooh, nice gym bag. Christian Lior. Who's Kevin? He's probably the other guy who works here. He's obviously in shape. Plus, he's got great taste. I can't believe you've worked here all this time and you've never met your coworker. It's so romantic. We're like two lemons who pass in the night. I bet Kevin's pretty handsome. Ooh, or even better, handsome pretty. <sighs> Maybe I'll write him a little note to say hello from the other side of the lemon shift. Careful, you're flirting blind. Please. With this bag, I've seen everything I need to see. I'd better get to work. One lemonade, please, dear. Coming right up. This will be my first lemonade in 50 years. George hates the smell of citrus. I don't mean to pry, but I heard what happened. How are you? Mostly, I'm wondering where it all went wrong. You know what you need? A makeover! Honey, I'm 76. There isn't enough rouge in the world to fix this mug. Makeup has healing powers. Whenever I feel cruddy, I buy a new lip gloss and it cheers me right up. <sighs> I guess things can't get any worse. Yay, a makeover! One more coat. <laughs> okay, you're done. Oh, I, I don't believe it. I don't look a day over 65. You know what'll go well with your new face? A new outfit. I wouldn't know where to begin. Luckily, I do. Whoa, there's my granddad. You mean your could-be granddad? I bet we even talk the same. You mean English? It feels good to be rid of the old ball and chain. <laughs> now I can get back to what I was doing before Gracie came along and ruin my whole stinking life. Dude's happy without the missus. This could mean the world will soon be Judeless. Hey guys, this is Gracie, and she needs our help getting back into the dating scene. This is a terrible idea, Caitlin. We're just hippifying her wardrobe. First of all, hippifying, not a word. Second of all, since when do we want Gracie back in the dating scene? Gracie deserves to join the 20th century. You mean the 21st century? No, I mean the 20th century. That's how far behind she is. Fine, I'll see what I can pull together. Toot toot, train wreck, all aboard. Old George is back in the game again. Being an usher was my first job right here in this very mall. Of course, the theater only had one screen back then. Ha! Piece of crap! Gracie made me quit because she didn't think it was a real job. Good thing I finally tossed that old bat to the curb. <laughs> George got his first job at the mall. Me too. Must be genetic. How do I look? Wow, you look better than me in those capris. It's true. Hey, I was just being nice. No need to jump in so quickly. I suppose I do look pretty good for an old bird. <gasps> Who knew old people could look so cute? You're going to open up a whole new khaki market. You're hired. OK. Come again. <laughs> oh, 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 my back. Poor Gracie. Here, sit down. Hopping, eating. Where's the bickering and complaining? Maybe Gracie's happy. Well, she's not acting like herself. What's it to you, girlfriend? Nice use of the lingo, Gracie. If you want to succumb to peer pressure, be my guest. This from a girl who doesn't even know where to put an earring. It's called a nose ring. It's called a staph infection. You're not my mother. Thank heavens for small mercies. Ugh. Wow, I feel better now. Thanks. 
Seems like she's back to her old self. He shoots, he scores! <laughs> In your face, Edgar. This is the life. It's 9 o'clock already? I haven't been up this late since Armstrong landed on the moon. <laughs> and that was over by 6. <laughs> Dude. Oh, hey, Jude. How goes the grandparent stocking? George watched the moon landing, dude, and I love space. It all fits. George and Gracie are my grandparents, which means... Your very existence is in jeopardy? Can you still see me, bro? How about now? No, because I'm leaving. Hey, did you get a reply from your mysterious coworker yet? Just a blank sheet of paper. Come to think of it, I find a lot of blank sheets lying around. Maybe Kevin didn't see your note. I'll read another one. No! No way! This is a note! Kevin's been writing notes all this time, but he's used invisible ink. For your eyes only. Nice! <laughs> Dear mysterious co-worker, I've been waiting so long for you to contact me. Tell me about yourself. I must know everything. Oh, look! There's a questionnaire. Allow me? I'm a huge fan of... Mall-wide sales. I'm really against... Matching plaids and paisleys. I'm really afraid of... Socks and sandals. <laughs> Kevin's getting to know the real me! Dude, you gotta help me! Once you go upright, you never get uptight. Forget the top, bro! You gotta get George and Gracie back together! Check it! I'm already starting to disintegrate! I'll do it, but not because you're insane. I'll do it because Nikki still isn't talking to me, which royally sucks. Jonesy, that's an $8,000 tub. And worth every penny. What are you doing? Chillin'. You're fired. Do me a solid, bro. I'm a little, uh, underdressed. were said, mistakes were made, mostly by me. But we all know you belong with Gracie. That harpy? Ha! Good riddance! Oh, come on! You can't tell me you don't miss her. Forget it, son. It's falling on deaf ears. Even if you can't hear me, you can still talk to me. For the last time, I'm fine. Tamale. Uh, that would be Gracie. Gracie? My Gracie? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that old man staring at us? Uh, ignore him. He's nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not fine. Poor you. The Jones Meister will get the two of you back together if it's the last thing I do. Jonesy, I can already feel myself existing less, dude. Can you still hear me when I make a sound? <laughs> Didn't think so. <gasps> what happened to you? Gracie, that woman is a bickering vampire. She keeps baiting me into arguments and then sucking me dry. Potato chips are too crispy, music is too catchy, corks are too porous. Ugh! I've never been so exhausted in my life. That is so fetch, girlfriend. Oh no, here she comes. Hey, Gracie, looking good. Too bad I can't say the same about Nikki's hair. Ugh, can't you just leave it alone? I'm on a break. When I was your age, we didn't take breaks. Well? Child labor laws have improved since the Industrial Revolution. What an attitude on this one! Oh, no wonder her boyfriend left. <laughs> he didn't leave, we're just not talking. Nah, same diff. Ah! 
You must miss George terribly. No way. Now that I've got Nikki, George is out of sight, out of mind. Come on, girls. We need to find us some more hotties. <laughs> Thank you for your last note, mysterious co-worker. Why don't you just tell Kevin your name? So he doesn't have to keep calling you mysterious co-worker. I thought it was more romantic this way. Oh, I'm too nervous. I, I can't. Here, you read. To answer your question, I'm originally from Texas, but I spent the most of my childhood in Sicily. I cannot wait to meet you. <laughs> Gracie's not here, you're safe. Yeah, yeah, but for how long? Answer me that. You guys, Kevin is so incredible. So, you finally met your mystery lemon man? Not yet, but his letters are amazing. <gasps> this is my first ever long distance relationship. I finally found my soulmate. Caitlin, you're only 16. I know, the clock was seriously starting to tick. Kevin and I have so much in common. We both love working out, and great bags. Before you start making wedding arrangements, maybe you two should actually meet. Already on it. Yo, anyone seen Nikki? <laughs> great news. I convinced George to go back to Gracie. You can start talking to me now. I suggest opening with a heartfelt apology. Uh. Doesn't sound like an apology to me. Gracie was ready to go back to George until she bonded with Nikki. Now Nikki's her substitute, George. Nikki? They're really old. How could you? I think I hear Gracie coming. Stop pointing out my flaws. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm not oh, listening. I'm Nikki's not listening. Nikki's really starting to lose it. Man, I've got to get the Bickersons back together ASAP before we lose Nikki for good. Okay, meeting in the atrium in 10 minutes. Sharp. I've gathered you all here because certain unfortunate events have put Nikki in a difficult position. Events like Jonesy breaking up George and Gracie? Now's not the time to point fingers. Not when Nikki's on the verge of complete crackage. Jonesy's right. Let's focus on getting Gracie and George back together. Caitlin, I'll put you in charge of atmosphere. I won't let you down. Dudes, I can already see through my shoes. Jude, you're wearing flip-flops. Now that you're almost invisible, Jude, I've got the perfect job for you. Oh, Gracie, if only this floor was your face, I'd buff it so clean you could eat right off it. This is a job for the invisible dude. Dear Georgie, <gasps> only Gracie calls me Georgie. Where's Kevin? I told him to meet me at the fountain at break time. Who's break time? He's not even working today. Oh, rats! I have to go write Kevin another note now. And when it comes to parsley, I mean, what's the point? When it comes to bickering, what's the point? It's called having a discussion. Oh, or am I going over your head? <laughs> uh. Watch this. Dear Gracie, George never calls me dear. <gasps> I have a secret admirer. And he wants to take me out for dinner. Oh, I better get ready. Please let this work. Wow, Caitlin, way to set a table. It was inspired by love. Speaking of which, I'm off to meet Kevin. For real this time. Hello, my name is Jonesy, and I'll be your waiter this evening. Romance is on the breeze When lovers taunt and tease Oh, how lovely! I'm totally psyched! <laughs> Gracie? 
I came for dinner with my secret admirer, not some lame-o. Make fun of the old man, is that it? Uh, Wyatt? When lovers reunite, and they should, the evening skies alight. Huh. Yo, what's up? Okay, this time Kevin's definitely standing me up. What did you say in your note? Meet me at the fountain at 7. A.M. or P.M.? Nuts! I beg you, have a seat! I'm not sitting anywhere near that crumb bum. She can fall down a well for all I care. He's the reason antidepressants were invented. Her morning breasts, the reason gas masks were invented. Great. Ruining things the first time wasn't enough for you? Thought you'd go for round two? I'm trying to get them back together. And how's that working for you? You make my skin crawl like I'm wearing a wool sweater. What did wool ever do to deserve you? You always undermine everything I do. Not everything. Just the stupid stuff. It's like they're the same couple, 50 years apart. Are they back together yet? Uh, not quite. I can totally see through my fingers. You make every day a misery. At least I'm consistent. It would be nice if you were my cheerleader for once. Forget it. You're not getting me into a short skirt. I guess you're stuck with me then. No, you're stuck with me. Ha! Wait, you... did they just... Nikki, the Bickersons made up! They did? Pick up your feet! You're scuffing your shoes! They're my shoes! I'll scuff them if I wanna! They're totally back together! Aww. Ow! Totally solid! I exist! <laughs> Oh. Kevin, it's me, your mysterious co-worker, Caitlin. Are you as excited as I am? Well, uh, I really love your top. So cute. I was gonna say the same thing about your outfit. It's like you're the other half of my lemon. From your letters, I just thought you were more... guyish. Like a tomboy? No, like a guy. Well, your letters were so butch. Caitlin, butch? Caitlin? A guy? Surely we can work through our differences. You haven't even had a chance to fall in love with me yet. Sorry. I think we're looking for the same thing. I know. Isn't that... Bye. But, guys, help me convince Kevin we're meant for each other. Well... Uh... You see... Oh, get with it, girlfriend. Kevin plays for the other team. What? Oh... Don't waste the pretty, like I did. Can't waste what you didn't have in the first place. <sighs> I really missed you, Georgie Borgie. <laughs> right back at you, Gracie Spacey, big fat facey. Had to go and ruin it. I just call him like I see him. You think we'll ever be like that? If we're lucky, Jonesy Wonesy. There you go. Thanks, Serena. I can't believe I'm working here. This is awesome. You say that now. Wait until you've unpacked all these CDs. <laughs> it's still better than hawking skateboards at my old job. Now I work in the music biz. Maybe one day someone will be stalking your desk. It just better not be me. <laughs> Public nuisance? And geez, Louise, killer. I got the bootleg from their comeback tour. I just saw their farewell tour with Wyatt last year. Why, it's a mega fan. Listen, it's not weird that... That we've both dated Wyatt? Not unless that makes us weird. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Wyatt, I'll be right back. Wyatt! Hey, Marlo. What happened with your interview for that amazing job? I got it! Hey, <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> Wait. You're working here? At Spin This? With Serena? I thought you'd be happy for me. Uh, happy? Yeah, that's what I am. I'm happy. <laughs> happy! <laughs> Thrilled, really. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. 
Just got a job at Spin This with Serena. New girlfriend and ex-girlfriend, bummo combo. Yeah, you might want to do something about that, bro. Especially since you were so crazy when you and Serena broke up. You wouldn't want Marlo to find out. No, no, I wouldn't. Oh, I wanted a fresh start with Marlo. I'm losing my freshness. I think I know a product for that. Don't worry, Wyatt. <laughs> What am I going to do? You got to break it up. Don't let them do that girly bonding thing chicks do. How? Do I look like a chick? Girls bond over things they have in common. Hobbies, music, shopping, clothes, magazines, shoes, accessories, boys. Did I mention shoes? Twice. Good. Girls are friends with other girls they can trust. You need to break down that trust. You know them both intimately, so you'll need to use that to your advantage. Ugh! Can't believe I just sold out my sisters. You're helping a friend, Caitlin, helping a friend. You could do all that, or you could just slip a CD into Marlo's bag so it looks like she stole it. What? Oh, like you weren't all thinking it. Uh, no, we weren't. I don't want to get Marlo fired. It's the only way, dude. Slip her the disc. I think I'll just tell her how I feel. What? And be honest? You should try it sometime. What is with that guy? Do I know him? Uh, how are we supposed to know if you know a guy that you don't know if you know? He keeps hiding his face when I look at him. So stop looking at him. I got a jet, new job. You are looking at the new assistant optician at four eyes only. You, an assistant optician? Yes, I'll be selling glasses and giving people free eye exams. Free exams? You mean there are tests that people have to pay for? Ugh. Uh-huh. But not ours. If you can see, this is one exam you're guaranteed not to fail, bro. Sweet! Sign me up. Got you down for one. We've got lollipops and just got in some slick new frames. Come on, I work on commission. Cute frames? Okay. Fine. I better get going, too. Later. Later. Well, wish me luck. Good luck. Where are you going? to appeal to Marlowe's sensitivity. What's this? Oh, it's the best mix. A guy I dated at camp gave it to me. Can we listen to it? Oh, yeah, sure, totally. I'll be right back with more stock. Marlo, can we talk for a sec about before? You mean when you were really happy for me? Look, I'm sorry. I'm glad you love your new job, but what about the skate shop? They understand. I thought you would too. Sure, I mean, I do. You love music, but Serena? After I mixed up your names, you didn't want to hear about her, let alone hang with her. You asked me to get over it, Wyatt, and I did. Serena seems cool. Mwah. I think we could be friends. Friends? Don't you worry, sir. The store is in good hands. The conference will only be two days. Uh, now, I'll be back as soon as I can. Are you sure you can handle this? Absolutely. I will personally see to everything while you're gone. <gasps> Did you see that? Ah, uh, who is he? And why is he hiding from me? Is it that guy Dylan from camp? <gasps> or that man I sold the defective jock strap to? 
You ready? Just let me warm up. <sighs> Cover one eye and read the chart, top line. Um... Uh... I have no clue what it says, dude. None of it? No, bro. I guess you need glasses. I need glasses? You said I'd lick this test. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing with that thing? Don't worry, it's how we determine your prescription. We? You know how to work that thing? Yes, I went through six hours of training, and the optician verifies all the prescriptions. Now sit. Is it better like this or like this? Like this or like this? Um, like that, I guess. Don't worry, bud. We'll have you sing again in no time. These are perfect for you, Jude. Okay. A fine choice, sir. What about you two? Better eyesight will help you check out the hotties. Ooh, all right. I guess it couldn't hurt. Score! See you at four! I'm gonna make a sweet commission. Yeah, I would like to have my eyes checked. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, golly. Uh, that chart is looking pretty blurry. I guess I need uh, new lenses, huh? Wait a sec. Blurry eye chart means you need new glasses? Well, um, um, yes. Blurry eye chart. I'd be loaded in no time. You may be practically blind, but you've just shown me the way, dude. Oh, man. I don't know about this. I don't like it either, Wyatt. But you can't lose Marlo. Not because of Serena. Marlo's gone. Then get in there. Oh, hey, Wyatt. Marlo's in the washroom. <laughs> oh, Marlo. She's got a bladder the size of a pea. <laughs> and her memory. Don't be too hard on her if she forgets where she put the CDs. Or misses a shift or two. I'll catch up with her later. Bye. Wyatt, you ever notice that Serena can be a bit controlling? She keeps asking me where the CDs are and reminding me about my next two shifts. The girl's got trust issues. I hope she starts to trust me soon, because she's driving me crazy. For the first part of the exam, I need you to shut your eyes. What is this test? Your night vision. Oh. Can you see anything? No. Good. OK, now open your eyes, cover one eye, and read the chart. Wow, it's kind of blurry. Um, E, F, L, no, P. Um, oh, I don't know. Tough break. You need glasses. I, I don't believe it. The chart doesn't lie. Oh, isn't that floppy bunny the cutest? Yeah, I love bunnies. Marlo loves lizards. Gross, huh? Uh, I guess. Ugh. Did you know that Serena loves country music? Country music! Really? Thanks, Jonesy! I can't wait for my new glasses! They're so cute, and they help me see! Right you are! The optician will get them right away. They'll be yours tomorrow. Things are looking up. Hey! How's it going? Shh! I'm eavesdropping. Wyatt tells me you've got a thing for lizards? I didn't want her to tell, Marlo. I just hope she thinks she was weird. I love them too. Look what I got. It's so cute. <gasps> Wyatt thinks lizards are gross. Judd Farmer? This should be in the country section. I actually kind of like Judd Farmer. Really? <laughs> me too. I thought Marlo hated country. Wyatt hates country. He was so insistent that I told him I hated it too. Ah, oh, did he put on that pouty face he sometimes makes? That's it! <laughs> Wyatt, what's happening? Oh, they're laughing at me! I gotta do something! I'll call you back. You've just got to see the funniest picture I got of him at one of our gigs. Classic Wyatt. Hey, isn't this your favorite mix CD? It must have fallen off the counter into the trash. Thanks so much. 
I would have been bummed if I'd lost it. I'm so glad you're working here. Really? Totally. What? Wyatt? Wyatt? <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Hey, you should probably fix this. I always hated that mix CD. Did you really knock over the entire stand of CDs? Yes, I did. Yeah, sorry things aren't working out, Wyatt. I, I hope you can... Ugh, you guys are freaking me out. Are those even the right prescription? Jonesy said they might be a bit blurry, but our eyes will adjust. They're not new shoes. You're not supposed to have to break them in. It's the price of looking good, I guess. <gasps> There's that guy again. He's still hiding from me. Where? Over there. He's holding a soda can in front of his face. What is his problem? That's a basketball, Jen. I'm not sure he's the one with the problem. Oh. Yeah, that's me, remember? I can't believe I pulled that stunt with the CD. That's the last time I listened to Jonesy. I thought the last time you listened to Jonesy was going to be the last time you listened to Jonesy. Can you remind me next time? Dude, you just have to chill. How? Maybe you should try hanging with Chad. He's pretty chill. Serena's boyfriend? He's so chill, he's got permanent brain freeze. Wyatt, Serena's hanging with your girlfriend, so hang with her boyfriend and see how she likes it. I'll fight fire with fire. Thanks. Someone might want to get the fire department on speed dial. I'm on it. That's not your cell, Jude. I know. It's a loner. Mine's busted. Though this one doesn't seem to be working so well either. Such a great idea for all of us to hang out, Wyatt. Good thinking. So, Chad, you like movies? Totally. Seen anything good recently? Definitely. Okay, I'm done. Marlo, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, actually, I gotta head out. See you tomorrow, Serena? Definitely. See ya. I can't take this, Marlo. I don't want to hang out with Chad. You're the one that suggested it. Can't you just get your old job back at North Shore, please? Wyatt, I can't believe you'd ask me something so selfish and thoughtless. Selfish, maybe, but I've given it a lot of thought. Goodbye, Wyatt. Aww. Get that new pair of glasses and see things for how they really are. Spot those unsightly blemishes. That chin hair. Your really ugly husband. It's like the war all over again. Ow! Only smaller. So, how'd it go? This is my last hope. Two tickets to the G's Louise reunion concert? I got them as a peace offering for Marlo. Dude, if things up until now haven't worked, try the opposite. You mean I should support their friendship? Worth a try, though I myself have never resorted to being nice. I'll break them up with my niceness. Coach always says to play to your strengths. I'll offer these to Marlo and Serena as a show of supportive boyfriendliness. Thanks, Jude. Caitlin, pass me your sunglasses before I'm blinded by Wyatt's intense sincerity. I really am sorry, Marlo. I got these for you and Serena. Two tickets to see Jeez Louise with Serena? Wow, Wyatt, you're the best boyfriend ever. Yeah, thanks, Wyatt. You really are a great boyfriend. What is with that guy? Maybe he's hiding from the freaky chick that's spying on him. Oh, no. You are not getting away from me so easily this time. Ah! My head! Jude, you the man! I scored huge with Marlo and Serena. Be back. This celebratory smoothie's gone right through me. People don't realize how brainy I can be. You make it easy to forget. Thanks, dudette. Enough! We have reached an unacceptable level of chaos! So, a certain level of chaos is acceptable? Not now, son. That kind of talk just adds to the pandemonium. Who's there? What was that? 
I... I smell fraudulence. It wasn't me, dude! I've got my eye on you, punk. I see everything. Has anyone seen Wyatt? I think he's in the washroom celebrating. Okay then. I just wanted to give him something. Oh well, catch you later. Later. So, did you catch your mystery guy? No. And I grilled everyone and no one knows who he is. Dude, some chick was just here to see you. I didn't really get a good look at her. What's this? A note? From Serena? What? Serena likes me? She likes you, likes you? No way! Wow. I'd better go clear this up. Serena likes Wyatt? What happened to the nice guys finishing last? I thought girls liked the bad boys. Do you mean the kind of bad boy who would do this? Uh-oh. It's kind of hard to read. That's because this maggot blurred out the letters to sell more glasses. It's not what it looks like! Actually, it's exactly what it looks like. I can't believe you'd stoop so low as to sell glasses to people who don't need them. People like your friends. What happened to the optician verifies all prescriptions? He's out of town. I was gonna tell you, I swear, as soon as I got my commission. No hard feelings, right? Actually, the floor was pretty hard when my head landed on it. So I passed the exam? Actually, you didn't, Jude. I didn't scam you. Oh, thanks, bro. I would haul you off in my vehicle if I knew where I left it, but I will find it. Oh, yes, I will. And when I do, I will find you. That's it. I've got him. Ah! Please. What do you want with me? Oops. Sorry. Hey, guys. Turns out I don't even know this guy. He was just trying to hide his monster zit. Oops. Sorry. Again. Serena, what is with... Are you looking for this? Marlo, don't... Serena, you like Wyatt? Yeah, I, I guess I do. And you told him behind my back? Sorry, but I had to be honest. You've grown up, Wyatt. You're a great boyfriend. Marlo's great boyfriend. I think you were right about me working here, Wyatt. I quit. Uh, now might be a good time to listen to some of that achy, flaky country music you love so much. What up? Nothing. <sighs> I never should have talked so much about you with Serena. It was so dumb to tell her how great you are. You told her how great I am? Of course. Why do you think she's crushing on you? Wow. Where were you when Serena and I were dating? <clears throat> Wrong thing to say? Um, <laughs> yeah. So my boss came back and I had to refund everyone their money. Eh, I guess I better start looking for a new gig. You're lucky you're not looking for new friends, too. So it all worked out with Marlo? Totally. It's about time you got to dump Serena. Felt pretty good. I finally see Serena for who she really is. I wish I could see my friends, the lemon, my backpack. Jonesy! What? I swear I didn't use the trick eye chart on you, Jude. Maybe I wasn't a seasoned pro with the prescriptions, but you failed the exam all on your own. See? Not blurry. Yeah, it is. Take your glasses off, Jude. Still can't read it. Not even the top line? Epipet... Epipetalzolipid. What kind of word is that? Doesn't make any sense, dude. <laughs> 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 what? 
You might not get it, bro, but you can see just fine. <sighs> Sissy soccer cleats don't go up front and center. I happen to like soccer. Five minute foul. Ah, oh, stupid coach. Hi, I'm Griffin. Jen, so what did you do to end up in the penalty box on your first day? It was probably the unsanctioned breath I took earlier. Oops, there's another. <laughs> oh, but it's so worth it for the big minimum wage bucks we make. You mean it's, uh, it's worth it for all the hot chicks. Oh, you mean me. <laughs> I, I know we don't really know each other, but... Maybe we could hang out sometime. How's tonight? Too eager? No, no. I like a girl who knows what she wants. Pick you up at eight? Eight it is. Later. I rock. I rock. I rock. I rock. I'm still here. Uh, can we pretend I didn't just do that? No, you definitely did it. Uh, nice moves. But we can pretend I didn't see it. That works, too. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last Sounds like a keeper. Where are you guys going? A stroll around the fake lake? Oh, maybe some nosh at that French cafe? Or a midnight makeout session under the stars? No clue! Guess my date with Griffin will be a total surprise. Got a date? <coughs> at eight! That'll give you time to do something with that hair. What's wrong with my hair? Guess the guy's beyond looks. Ow! I'm going home to change. A little lipstick and mascara wouldn't hurt either. Uh. Mmm. Uh, dude, what are you doing? You hold it in your mouth for a bit, then you swallow, dude. Ah, <sighs> unlocks the flavor. Please, dude, stop swishing. I have to pee so badly. I've got a suggestion. Go to the bathroom. And use the gross washrooms? No way! I can hold it. Have I ever told you guys how much I love water slides? Whoosh! Whoosh! Jonesy! Almost as much as I love Niagara Falls. Whoosh! Quiet! Personally, Whoosh. I love sprinklers. What do you need me for? You did this to me. I'm not going into those sicko washrooms alone. Uh, dude? Caitlin's gone. <laughs> Oops. I could haul you in for liquid littering, maggots. What's with the weird glasses, small cop, dude? They're infrared goggles. The latest in crime-fighting technology. Infrared goggles? Cool. Can they see through clothing, huh? Goggles huh? are not a toy, street meat. They detect heat, and red is the color of guilt. Innocent people don't sweat. Hmm. Stop! You're clearly guilty of something! Ah, I just came from the gym! Are you done yet? I have to get to work. What am I saying? Take all the time you need. Thanks for coming with me, Nikki. The moral support makes it not so gross. Oh no! I can't wash 
wash my hands! Relax, I've got some hand sanitizer. I knew I brought you here for a reason. Bebe? Bebe? Te quiero, te necesito. Tienes que creerme. Oh, I've always wanted to date a Spanish guy. You're so lucky. Mm, you've lost me. Jonesy is a Garcia. <laughs> oh yeah, the only thing Spanish about Jonesy is his love of salsa. As in the condiment, not the dance. Dime lo que tengo que hacer y lo haré. Dime algo, bebé. Maybe now's your chance. Get out there and bag that Spanish hottie. <laughs> you are the best washroom wing woman ever. Oh, he's so dark and mysterious. Only a hot Euro guy could pull off such tight pants. Can you imagine the guys in those? I need to sanitize my brain. Okay, now's your chance. Go talk to him. Not yet, Nikki. First, I'm gonna learn Spanish so we can speak the language of love. Wait, you're gonna learn an entire language just so you can date a guy? I've already dated all the eligible English-speaking ones. True. Man, would I ever like to ask that cute blonde out? See, si, you must. La vida es corta. La life is short. I'll do it. Uh, Tomorrow. Stupid. Hey, I understood that. I can't wait for my Spanish language tapes to arrive. Then I can ask out my Spanish hottie. Tell me one thing Spanish people have ever done for the world. Hmm, let's see. Well, they discovered America, created some of the world's most recognized dances, and revolutionized modern art. Hello, Picasso. I said name one thing. Doesn't your dad speak Spanish? You should ask him to teach you. I already know all the Spanish I'll ever need. Oh, teach me, teach me! Repeat after me. Idiota! Don't listen to Jonesy. He only knows swear words. <gasps> Whoa, brah. You look smokin'. You're one hot mama. I mean, stepsis. What? Too weird? Yep. Definitely. Affirmative, bro. You and Griffin are going to have the best first date ever! Hi, Jen. Wow. You look amazing. Ready to go? Definitely. <laughs> Griffin sure has all the right moves. That is one good-looking fellow. Too weird? Yep. Affirmative, bro. Definitely. I've been waiting all week to see Minor Movie Star. It got three popcorn tubs out of five. I hear Jessica Stinson's acting range went from flirty to flirty and bouncy. <laughs> oh, I, I seem to be a little short. No worries, you can pay me back. Oh no, they're sold out. Forget the movie. I have an even better idea. You are so beautiful in this light. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to thank my friend for sneaking us in. <gasps> Who knew a window display could be so romantic? Plus, it's a great deal. 50% off. <laughs> Are you still hungry? Got any more free samples of that great soup from Soups On? No, but can I interest you in a biscotti chunk and a coffee sample from Grind Me? Thanks. My name is Caitlin. Me llamo Caitlin. But this isn't what I ordered. I am injured. Where is the nearest hospital? I didn't order this. Estoy herida. Donde está el hospital más proximo? Hola. So how did the big date go last night? Muy amazing. The movie was sold out, so Griffin and I spent the whole night on the porch swinging Willow and William, swinging and talking. <gasps> that is so romantic. Then... Griffin got his free food samples and we had a window display picnic. He's so sweet. When are you guys going out again? Not sure, he hasn't called yet. Don't worry, he will. There's definitely a next day calling rule for great first dates. See, told ya. Hello? Hey, Jen, I had a great time last night. Want to do it again tonight? Okay, can't wait. Bye. Bye. Oh no, what have I done? 
Uh, you agreed to go out with a guy you really like? But I don't know if I can follow up with last night's perfect date. What if the next one's a flop? Uh, I guess Jonesy and I could tag along. A little double dating action to take the pressure off. <laughs> Whoa, you're the bestest! Oh, <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hmm. Slow down, maggot. This isn't a speedway. Whoa! Oh! Mm -hmm. That's it! Stealing tacos, I see. You're coming with me, mister. <gasps> uh, Take cover! There's gotta be a mall ordinance against unlawful gas emissions. Dude, can you see farts with those things? Yes, soldier! You want the goggles! <laughs> you can't handle the goggles! Would you like to go to the movies? Te gustaria il al cine? How about dinner? Te gustaria cinar? You must not let Amor sleep away. Embrace it while you can. Hola! Me llamo Caitlin. Te gustaría ir al cine? <laughs> Te gustaría cenar? Disastre. What did she say? I didn't understand a word she said. Because she's Spanish. Lucky for you, so am I. I can't decide between the NFL fries or the NHL nachos. He'll have the fries. I'm not sitting through an entire movie with your heinous jalapeno breath. I'll have the World Cup Tostitos. How about you, Griffin? Uh, just water for me. Uh, I'm not hungry. I can loan you some money. Being with you is all the sustenance I need. Mmm. <laughs> I'll just enjoy my nice, cold tomato soup. <sighs> oh, well, what's mine is yours. I'll never be able to finish. Uh, mm. Are you going to eat all those? I'm going to try. I got to have those goggles. Wherever there's gas to pass, the Fart Man will be there! Uh, mommy, sing me a lullaby. rock a bye rent a cop in his golf cart. When the fart blows, Jude's world will rock. Don't worry, mall cop dude. I'll bring them back good as new. Mm. 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 Uh. Oh, sorry, Jen. Did you want it? It's okay. I like to leave room for movie popcorn. Ooh, I gotta use the facilities. Uh, not like I ordered anything anyway. No, you just ate all our food. Thanks for roping us into an evening with El Cheapo. Griffin's not cheap. Whatever. Let's pay and get out of here. Movie starts in 10. Okay, there are two extra loonies. Who needs bus fare? If no one else wants it. <sighs> hey, aren't you our new bus boy? Who, me? <laughs> Maybe. I'm on break. <laughs> How come seniors get a discount and students don't? Ah, oh, this is a gross social injustice. You know what? Let's sneak in the back way. That'll teach them to overcharge. Sorry, but I've been waiting all week to see Karate Kaya. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to spend the night in Ron's jail cell. You're not gonna let these buzzkills ruin it, are you? I feel so dangerous. <laughs> ah! No fair! We paid! Ah! Friends, don't let friends break the mall law. Now, I've got a goggle-stealing perp to smoke out. Can I walk you home? There's a full moon tonight. Home? But it's over an hour's walk. Hope you brought your walking shoes. 
Griffin stole our bus fare. Que pasa? Could ask you the same thing. Wearing tassels makes me feel more Spanish, and these salsa shoes are surprisingly comfortable. Wish I could say the same thing about mine. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Jen! What happened to your hideous feet? Griffin and I walked home from the mall last night. But that's over an hour's walk. Believe me, we know. It was all worth it. I think Griffin's... <laughs> the one? <laughs> the bandages you ordered, my lady? And a coffee to numb the pain. Aw, thanks, Griffin. The glue's all dried up. Maybe you should return the bandages to the pharmacy and get your money back. I could, except I bought them at Cheapo Bin for a buck. Why pay retail when you can go wholesale, right, Griffin? Right you are, my man. Whoa, lemon squishies are pricey. What drink has the most lemon for my money? Lemonade. That'll be three fifty. Uh huh. Uh, hey, uh, Jen, did you spot me a fiver? Guess I'm a little short today. Here, it's on the house. Thanks, Kate. Bye, guys. I don't get it. What does Jen see in that guy? She's going broke, bankrolling his cheap butt. I saw El Cheapo eating mustard packets for breakfast. I saw him stealing toilet paper from the washroom. I saw him in Grind Me putting all the leftover coffee into a mug. Then he asked the barista to nuke it. Please tell me that's not the coffee he just gave to Jen. Oh! oh. Hola, Hermosa. Did that guy just call you a Hermosa? I'll kill him. Do you even know what that means? Neither do I. Jen may be dating El Cheapo, but at least she understands what her guy is saying. I'll find you, you goggle stealing no good. Whoa. Awesome. In Spain, we romance through the dance. You have learned muy bien. What if I trip? What if I forget the steps? Or worse, step on her toes. I will be here to coach you the entire time. See? Out. Sus ojos son tan grandes. Sus labios están tan hinchados. I can't feel my whip. Wait, dude! It's all in the name of fart forensics. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Out! Ow! Feet bleeding on the jaw. That's dedication, Masterson. I've got a romantic date all planned. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes. Okay. <laughs> Who's hungry? For free tacos? Always. What's with force feeding us refried beans, dude? I gotta see more infrared farts before Ron takes his goggles back. You wanna watch me fart? I, I don't know what to say. Sit tight, Jude. You're about to see something special. This is your idea of a romantic date? I'm a little short on cash. Oh, shh. They're about to start the reading. The leprechaun searched everywhere for that elusive rainbow. Ouch! Loser! <sighs> I'm beginning to think you're right. <laughs> a free pet store tour? Oh. Those bunnies are cute. Griffin, what are you doing? That bird seed is for the parrot. Don't see the parrot's name on it. Are we waiting for something? <laughs> oh, people watching really is the best entertainment. Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. Maybe we can get something to eat. Oh, here. I brought extra for you. Thanks for the, um, date, Griffin. But I'm gonna take off. Wait, you can't leave yet. There can't possibly be anything free that we haven't already done. Uh, I need bus fare. Can I bum some till payday? Adios, El Cheapo. Esta relación es terminada. Huh? Gracias. 
Gracias por el baile, Jasper. It's like watching TV when you accidentally press the SAP button. What happened? Unfortunately, we don't speak Spanish. The dance was nice, but I need someone who understands me in English. Did you finally dump El Chipo? Was everyone calling him that? Oh, I just can't figure El Chipo out. He makes the same as me at the penalty box. Where does all his money go? Maybe he has a sick parent to support? Maybe he's really bad with his money. Or maybe El Chipo likes living off the backs of hardworking saps like you and me. Okay, hardworking saps like you. My El Sporto busboy days are over. Perhaps that's because you never went to work. A definite possibility. Uh-oh, Jude, it's time! You with the font fetish. I want those goggles back. <laughs> Wicked. That was even better than I expected, dude. Me, me, I want to turn. No, I want to no, turn. Dude, 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 dude. Griffin's totally loaded. Hey, I want my 75 bucks back. Brock, come back. Jonesy's about to blow again. Any minute now. Oh, man. Oh, no. Make a child's holiday happy. Thanks, dude. Have a candy cane. Hi there. Are you donating a gift to Toy Mountain? It's for a little girl like me. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. You don't happen to know what it is, do you? That's okay. Okay, this is huge! Jen, what's wrong? I'm surrounded by presents, and I don't know what's in any of them. So? They're not for you. You don't understand. This is like torture. You were one of those little kids who used to try to find all of her Christmas gifts, weren't you? I still am. Come on, aren't you just a little bit curious? Don't worry. You'll find out what's in every single one of them at the kids' holiday party this afternoon. Wow, the toy mountain people made you dress up as a reindeer? No, I wanted to. Do you like my tail? You dressed up voluntarily, as an animal. <laughs> you really are a little Christmas nerd. <laughs> I love the holidays, and I love dressing up. Jones is so lucky. I wish I was the holiday <laughs> snowman. Party! New Year's Eve at my place! Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Even in a 50-pound snowman costume, Jonesy is still Jonesy. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last Like your ears. They're antlers. You and your antlers are loitering. What do you think you're doing? You know, just binging on sugar, collecting gifts for less fortunate children, planning mass chaos. <laughs> the gift collecting part is true. I'll be watching you, punks. One false move, and you're mine. But it's Christmas. Where's your holiday spirit? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. So, you going to hang with us and collect presents? Ugh, the crappy barn has me stuck at the wrapping table they sponsored. At least it all goes to charity. Come on, cheer up. It could be fun. Spending my free time with the clones wrapping presents couldn't get any worse. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom? Okay, it just got worse. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? I was inspired by all of you kids volunteering. Plus, it gives us time for some mother-daughter holiday bonding. Nikki, oh my gosh, your mom is so bank at wrapping presents. She even wrapped the khaki barn sign. You never said how much fun your co-workers are. No wonder you spend so much time at the mall. Aw, Mrs. W, you're so cute. I'm gonna need a very, very large coffee. This is not good, dude. Nikki said her mom's gonna be in the mall all day. So? Nikki's mom loves you. Nikki's mom loves parental Jonesy. There's a big difference between him and regular Jonesy. Parental Jonesy is polite, considerate, has actual, I don't know, goals? Basically, he's delightful. And regular Jonesy? Isn't! Come on, dude! I'm not exactly a parent's dream. I love to party, I get bad grades, I get fired. What about goals? You have goals. The biggest goal I have right now is to throw a killer New Year's Eve party and not get caught. I see your point. This is serious. I've worked hard to make a good impression as Nikki's boyfriend, but this is my domain. My mall! I don't know if I can be parental Jonesy in regular Jonesy's hood. Ah, maybe I can avoid Nikki's mom in this. Can you tell it's me? Nope. You're cool. <sighs> I'm taking this one to the back. Uh. Nikki, what are you doing here? I'm hiding from my mother. Uh, come on. It can't be that bad. She's wearing an all-denim suit. Ew. Well, at least at the wrapping station, you get to see what everyone is getting. I have to guess. This one is boys 8 to 10. This could be anything. Sometimes it's better not to know. Some guy just bought candy cane underwear for his girlfriend. Ew. Sticky. Nikki. Report to the wrapping station, Stad. Did I do that right? Oh no. They've taught her how to use the headsets. Nikki, can you hear me? Over, dear. Oh, it's like she's in my head. Nikki! I'm coming, Mother. One more day. One more day. I'm not always going to be a snowman, Mrs. Wong. I've got plans. Yo, Jonesy, party Saturday night. Dude, it's going to be off the hook. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, as I was saying, I'm trying to decide between med school and law school. Education is very important to me. <laughs> you just flunk art class, dude. You're not helping here, Jude. Sorry. <laughs> Attention! Show me your work. These corners aren't tight enough. Do it again. Sir, yes! I'm going to confiscate all of your Christmas tree wrapping paper. Now! But it's our most popular... Now, soldier! Ah! Carry on. Wow, he is not very friendly. <laughs> you should have seen him when we stole his golf cart. <coughs> I mean, uh... Hi, Nikki. Hi. Hey, Yoda. What's that? It's a Queen Amidala costume for Julie. We like to role play. <laughs> Actually, I think it's sweet that you have a shared interest. Red Leader, I think we've slipped into an alternate world. Over. I copy Gold Leader. Yes, well, I'm off. Mrs. Wong, it was a pleasure to see you again. <gasps> What do you think this one is? Beats me. Girls 12 to 14. It's kind of heavy. Could be a CD player or skates. What is the big deal? I can't help it. I have to know. Oops. OK, it's not skates. Uh-oh. Here comes the Grinch. These are a fire hazard. Wow. OK, is it just me, or is Ron really out of control this year? Did you hear what he just did to Santa? No loitering in the mud. I'm not loitering. I'm Santa Claus. Don't play games with me, Pudge. 
I know your type. Sitting on your butt all day making promises you can't keep. But... That's it! You're under arrest! What? <laughs> Ron must really hate Christmas. Yeah. Hey, man. How's parental Jonesy going over? Not so well, dude. It is seriously stressing me out. What? Having Nikki's mom here? You could turn it into a good thing. What did you get Nikki for Christmas? Darn it! I knew I'd forgotten something! It's okay. Just buy her something really thoughtful, then drop it off at the wrapping station, and presto! Instant parental bonus points. You know, that's not bad, Caitlin. Thanks! Hey! What do you think you're doing? I'm, uh, taking a break? You've got five hours to go! And if I don't see the snowman walking around being all snowman -y, you don't get paid! Got it? Yeah, I got it. Caitlin, you have to shop for me. Oh, no. If this is gonna work, it has to be from you. Mrs. Wong can't suspect a female proxy shopper. But you heard the guy. If there's no snowman, there's no cheddar. If there's no cheddar, there's no gift. And if there's no gift, parental Jonesy is in big trouble. Can't you get someone to wear the costume for you for an hour or so? Ooh, I'll do it. Seriously? Yes, 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 eee! It'll be so fun. There. You okay in there? Yep. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Caitlin. I owe you one. I don't know about this. Oh, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just point me towards the doors. Oh, oh, oh. How do you call it in, suburbs? We've got to get these gifts grouped by age and by boy versus girl. I think this is a baby doll. We could take a tiny peek. Yes! See? No harm, no foul. Okay, but no more. I promise. But I want a piggyback ride from the snowman! <laughs> Please don't do that. Isn't that Nikki's Jonesy in that costume? <laughs> I've never seen anyone blow it in front of a parent that well before. Girls, do you know any nice single boys? Hello, we're in a mall. It's like boy shopping central. Good, because I think it's time for Nikki to get herself a new boyfriend. Can I peek? Please, please, please. I already let you open three gifts. Fine, one more. The official red Johnson and fire engine with extendable ladder and siren action? They're making these again, brah? This is the one Hanukkah present I wanted more than anything else when I was five. But I never got it. Aw, why not? It was sold out. And then, one day, right before the holidays, the toy store got 50 fire engines in. My parents hurried there but they were brutally stampeded in the Great Red Johnson fire engine rush. I got a bunny sweater instead. That's probably why I'm not a fireman today. And the fact that you're still in high school. Can I keep it, brah? No, Jude. This is for a little boy aged five to eight from the city shelter. He can have my bunny sweater. Why don't you just go buy one? Dad! Is an awesome idea, dude! Red Johnson, here I come! Hello? Dude, I'm outside Albatross and Finch. You have got to come see this. I think the Rent-A-Cop has officially lost his toque. On my way. Can I trust you not to open any more gifts? This is classic. No live trees in the mall. Cheers. Oh, Nikki, I have someone I want you to meet. This is Merrick. He's a greeter god from Albatross, and he actually agreed to go out with you. Mom, I have a boyfriend, Jonesy. You can do better than him. Merrick here is the assistant manager. Yeah, and he's a total cheese ball. Hey. You're wearing a cowboy hat and flip flops in December. I'll go out with you! Oh. I want to go out with him! No fair! Mom, just go back to wrapping presents, okay? Fine. What do 
about that nice Vulcan boy who stopped by today? <laughs> Jars? Ah, uh, he's not a Vulcan. He's a Jedi. And he's taken. <sighs> the good ones always are. Mom, you know Jonesy's a good guy. I'm not so sure about that. What is that supposed to mean? Hey, babe, what's... Hey! You fondled some yummy mummy in the atrium and made her little boy cry? What? Jonesy, you're fire! What? No, I didn't. Who said that? My mother. And now she's trying to set me up with random greeter gods. I haven't even been in the atrium. I was buying you a present. Oh, no. Caitlin! What? Caitlin was wearing the costume for me so I wouldn't get fired. So much for that plan. You have to explain it to your mom. Fine. Just try not to do anything too jonesy for the next few hours. You can't be sold out, dude. Sorry, the fire truck's a hot item. This can't be happening again. Why me, man? <laughs> Jen, Jude is super bummed about the fire engine. Can we give it to him? I'll buy a toy for the mountain. I would, but we'd never find it. We kind of have a situation here. Never mind. I think I know one place Jude hasn't checked. What did you do? Check out my gift for Nikki. It's an atlas of the world that fits in your backpack. She can take it with her when she goes traveling. Yeah, Jonesy, that's great. Come on! It's the perfect gift! It's thoughtful, cool, useful. What the heck? There's hundreds of gifts here! I'm sorry, I got carried away. We just have to rewrap them. Are you good at wrapping? Me neither! What are we gonna do? Don't look at me! I've gotta go drop this off to be wrapped, then find Caitlin and kick her butt for groping some lady in front of Nikki's mom. Hello? Have you seen any fire trucks around here? Uh, okay. You're actually kinda heavy. <gasps> That's it! Make way! Mall emergency! Hey! Hoping we can use this together one day. Love, Jonesy. Isn't that nice? Maybe I was a little hard on him. <gasps> Edible candy cane underwear? Oh, he is so shut down! What? Those are for me? Jonesy, could you come to the wrapping station for a second? I'm guessing you opened my gift? You bought me candy underwear? Yep. What? No! And you were gonna have my mom wrap it? Are you completely insane? Hold on a minute! I bought you something completely different! I told you you could do better! I have it! I found Jude's toy! It was all her idea! I didn't buy those! This gift is proof, dear! Buy what? She's never like Jonesy! All right, what's all the ruckus? Excuse me, how long would it take to wrap 879 presents? You can't do this on Christmas Eve! I want my one phone call! Santa? Wow, this guy really hates Christmas. Let us out of here! This is false imprisonment! Are those Christmas carols? <clears throat> Eggnog, anyone? I'll take a nog, dude. Look, I get that you hate Christmas, and you probably hate us too, but we really need to get back out there. There's gonna be hundreds of kids expecting a holiday party with presents, and no one is there to hand them out. Or wrap them. <laughs> do I smell turkey? Why, yes, you do. I'm heating some turkey dinners in the microwave. Back in a jiff, relax. Anyone else think this is creepy? Just lightly. Well, here's to another Hanukkah with no fire truck. We were gonna wait until tonight, but this sucks so bad, we might as well do something fun. Happy Hanukkah, Jude! We all chipped in. It's the official Red Johnson fire engine with extendable ladder and siren action! First made in 1968 with twin ladders, 14 real rubber tires, and a siren. My 
dad gave me one of those on Christmas Day. Right before he headed off to war. I played with it every day until one summer that little fire engine kept rolling, rolling down the sidewalk, then down the pier and into the ocean, and then blammo! A great white shark snapped it up in its jaws and swam off with it. It was the darkest day of my life. Here, dude. You need this more than I do. Son, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. You're free to go. Go on. Go! Get out of here! Wait a minute. Ron doesn't hate Christmas. He's lonely. He was waiting for us to slip up so he could arrest us. You mean he locked us up because he had no one else to hang out with? What about that picture on his desk? The one with his family? Oh my gosh, that's a picture that comes with the frame. I just bought the same one for my mom. Wow, that is sad. I can still hear you. Sorry, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Totally, we need more eggnog. Oh, I've uh, never been to a Christmas party before. Am I dressed all right? Do I look Christmassy? I just wish we'd had time to rewrap all of the gifts. It's just not as much fun when you don't get to pull off the wrapping. And whose fault is that? <gasps> Whoa! The gifts are all wrapped! But who could have done it? Elves? Surprise! Mom, you did this? With a little help from Kristen and Kirsten, of course. Maybe having you around here isn't such a bad thing after all. Have all these presents been approved for small children? I mean, um, ho, ho, ho. That's the spirit. I underestimated you, Jonesy. Well, you did think I groped some lady and bought your daughter candy underwear. Here, Nikki. We figured out which gift was supposed to be yours. A travel atlas? Jonesy, this is... This is a really great gift. Did you pick it out yourself? Guilty as charged. So, do you think parental Jonesy and regular Jonesy can coexist? You know about that? That depends. Can parental Jonesy kiss you in front of your mom? Oh, I think so. Ho, 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 ho! Happy holidays, everyone! Ho, 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 ho! This is it, guys. The job we all dream about, and I got it. What are you rambling about? You're a secretary at a travel agency. A secretary? I'm a call center representative. I've never seen you this excited about work before, Jonesy. A, my desk has a giant LCD screen, and C, they have high-speed internet. Which means B, you don't actually have to do any real work. I get paid to play video games all day. Hey, that must be my coworker. I'm Jonesy, the new guy. Hey, name's Joni. Can the new guy help you? We're just here to wish Jonesy good luck on his first day. Doesn't need luck. We get paid to play video games all day. I just told them the same thing! <sighs> What's wrong with your friends? You're pretty. <laughs> Aren't you gonna answer that? What do you think you're doing? You have work to do. On your free throw shot. Mm. Ah! Aha! <laughs> I like your style. Look, Jonesy's got a new playmate. Isn't that sweet? She's not sweet. 
<laughs> She's smoking. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last seen Jonesy so happy in a job. Well, seems to be getting along great with that Joni girl. Wow, Nikki. I'm totally impressed by your self-control. You've lost me. You don't seem jealous at all that Jonesy is working with a... Smoking hottie? <clears throat> Whoa! <gasps> Ow! Jealous? Please. I'm happy Jonesy's finally found his dream job. Courtney! What are you doing here? I'm just in town to run some errands. Don't tell Mom, or I'll get roped into a big family thing. My lips are sealed. Hey, Caitlin. You're just as pretty as I remember. Thanks, Courtney. And you're, um, fun too, Nikki. Nice to see you too, Courtney. I gotta go. Bye. Bye! Me too. My shift starts in five. Sorry about the drive-by Courtneying. I thought she was lovely. You would. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest ever! Mohair mini sweater dresses! <coughs> they wouldn't look good on you, Nikki. You're too big boned for mohair. I'm gonna introduce you to my fist bone if you don't quit your cackling. <gasps> Masterson! We kick off in five minutes, and you waltz in here like it's a halftime show. I'm right on time, coach. Save the excuses. By the way, where do we keep the ping pong paddles? In the ping pong paddle aisle, bottom shelf. I don't know where anything is around here. We need a store-wide inventory. Pronto. And your team captain. Thanks for volunteering. Yes, coach. Ugh, I hate inventory. Counting every sports sock. Every golf ball, it's so mind-numbingly boring. I love mind-numbing. One day, I counted every single blade of grass on my front lawn. Okay. But I lost count after 875,000 when I went to take a pee and I forgot to mark my spot where I left off. So, I started again. That's great, Jude. Sounds like you'd be great for inventory. How about it? Sure, brah. Great! Now all I have to do is convince Coach. Hey, Wyatt. I'm on my second break, but she only started work an hour ago. I know! My new job rocks! Give me two orders of chicken fingers. Studies show that eating spicy chicken fingers improves employee performance. How much... Ah... Is he slow? Slow with the chicken fingers? Yes. <sighs> ah! Yes, I totally nailed that one. You are a true <laughs> artiste. <laughs> <sighs> Joni has the best ideas, and not for saving the planet or anything. Fun stuff, like water balloons. Yeah, she's a real giver. I become this babbling idiot whenever Joni's around. No, you think? She's just so smoking hot. <coughs> You're never gonna guess who we ran into today. You should hear Joni's belch. It's louder than this. <coughs> Jones Meister. Jones Meister. Go ahead, guess. Is break time over? Don't worry. As long as we're only three minutes late per break, no one can say anything but it adds to a whole day of paid vacation every year. Oh, man! That is genius! Huh, Nikki? Jonesy, didn't you forget something? Oh, yeah. 
Bye, everybody. Kim, we saw Courtney. Oh. I tried. What's that for? It's a donation box to help the hungry. Who's hungry? Me. Wasn't I cute? Isn't that, like, wrong or something? Jonesy, Jonesy, Jonesy. People don't make donations to help the poor and hungry. They do it to make themselves feel better. And for the tax write-off. Donate a dollar for the hungry. Score! Curly fries, here we come. You're my hero. So, Masterson tells me you want to play on the penalty box team. Yes, sir, coach dude. Quick, how many fingers? Uh, four. No, five. That's right, son. Four fingers, one thumb. Most morons would have answered five. Ha! You, me, and Masterson are in a boat. We need to lighten the load if we're going to win the race. Quickly, who do you throw overboard? Her? What? Jen's the best swimmer. That is true. <laughs> I sink like a stone. Nice. You're hired. Sweet. I'm hired. Four orders of spicy curly fries, please. I know this looks bad, but the fundraisers have to eat, too. Uh-huh. I bet I can eat these in five seconds or under. No way. I'll take that action. Let the fry-off begin! <gasps> Wyatt, look! Did you see that? <gasps> Joni's feeding Jonesy curly fries. Maybe Jonesy's just really hungry? I tried. Inventory sucks. No, brah. I love it. Sort of like guided meditation. One sports bra, two sports bras, three sports bras. Just stay out of Coach's way. He bites. No problema, amiga. <gasps> Jet, we have a total emergency. Bigger than that pile of sports bras Judas counting? Way bigger. Maybe you should take a seat first, Nikki. Caitlin, I'm busy. I don't have time for this. Fine, so I'm not busy. Can you make it quick anyway? Brace yourself. Joni was feeding Jonesy curly fries. And? Aw, Nikki, if you need a hug, I don't need a hug. Why should I care if Joni gave Jonesy something to eat? Let her hear it, Caitlin. What was that? Girl Talk Podcast. Never miss it. Uh, I refuse to take dating advice from some stupid cell phone. Hey! That's my stupid cell phone! Wicked! Yo. Dude! Jude, where did that come from? Had to take the boxes out of the stock room to count them. And a ramp was born. We gotta take this ramp down right away. Why are there so many little punks in my store? What is that? Your store rocks, Coach Dude. <sighs> ah, the sweet smell of profit. I can't remember the last time Masterson hit a home run like this. How'd you like to join our sales team, Jude? What? Store's got a harsh vibe, dude. Not sure if it's really my scene. Then make it your scene. Lace up your skates, boy, cause you're my new right-winger! Your king is dead and your village is in ruins! <laughs> Surrender, foe! Whatever, dork. You think you can defeat me that easily? Oh, man! How'd your army get so big so fast? Ahem. <clears throat> Do you have any tickets for the Museum of Civilization? No, but I just plunged his civilization back into the Dark Ages. Oh, now what do you say? Congratulations, Joni. You are the builder of civilizations. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the Jonesmeister name. <laughs> Can I please have my cell phone back? Only if you promise to stop talking about Joni and Jonesy. I won't bring it up again, swear. <laughs> oh, I got you now. <laughs>
<laughs> I call this move the Jaws of Jonesy. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, dude is cute. Think you could let me go? Excuse me, I think you dropped five bucks. Mm -mm. Oh, it's not yours? Then how about I use it to buy you a coffee? Mm. Girl has some slick moves. Would you like some energy drink, ma'am? How about you, sir? Energy drinks? Ugh, I can't believe stupid coach listened to stupid Jude. I have better things to do than serving people. Boy, the store has never been busier. I nominate Jude for MVP. <laughs> what? But it's his first week. I've never been the most valuable player. You call that team spirit, Masterson? Just look at the customers Jude brought in. Customers buy things. These people are just here for the free drinks. Well, you just can't put a price on karma. Jude told me that. Jude, skateboarding's forbidden in the store. Jude says it helps him think. What have you got for me now, Lasowski? Don't hurt yourself. I think the store needs some lava lamps. Love it! Masterson, why didn't you think of lava lamps? Because this is a sporting goods store? You're not thinking outside the penalty box. Five minute foul! Mm. Oh, this can't be happening. I know! Coach has lost his mind. He loves every one of Jude's crazy skateboard inspired ideas. Nikki's talking about Jonesy and Joni. We saw them hugging. <gasps> hugging? Are you sure? They were like this. Well, hello, beautiful. Uh, I don't think so. What if Jonesy has fallen for her? I guess some guys might find her sort of cute. More like gorgeous. And they have so much in common. They're practically two peas in a pod. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Wait, slow down, Nikki. Have you even asked Jonesy what's going on? No, guess I owe the lunkhead that much. We're supposed to catch a movie in an hour. I'll talk to him then. They're playing whale music? <gasps> Jonesy, I thought we were going to see a movie. We are. Joni's going to join. Cool? Ha! Huh, the more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> the monster who smelt it dealt it! Um, guys, you're getting popcorn all over me. Okay, I'll hold it. Jonesy, stop hogging the corn. Sorry, can you still see Nikki? Oh, totally. Why don't we just get another tub of popcorn? Because Miss Charity Donation Box over there wasted her time on German tourists. What are we gonna do with Deutschmarks? Huh? I don't discriminate. I'm an equal opportunity scammer. Plus, I've always wanted to go to Berlin. They have the best industrial German music? Over there, they just call it music. Last week, you didn't even know where Germany was. Joni schooled me. Someone has to educate. <laughs> no offense. <sighs> I'm going to get some jujubes. Make that two. Excuse me? Right, sorry, make that three. Don't want to leave out Joni. Perish the thought. Thanks for the laughs, Jonesmeister. See you at work. Later. Nikki? It's called the art of soft sell, dude. The soft sell? If you merch it, they will come. Can I still threaten them if they can't make up their minds? No, dude. Love conquers all. But what if you haven't made your sales quota? You can't just stand there. Masterson, keep your helmet on. I want to try this soft sell thing. Even though she didn't buy anything, I like how it makes me feel. Sort of like a, you know, a big uh, fuzzy penguin or something. You're on your way, dude. Thanks, dude. Ugh. I got tired of watching them bond, so I bailed in the middle of the movie. I can't believe Jonesy would do that. No more lemonade for him. Guys can be such jerks sometimes. Jonesy's so hot. I just realized I'm the only guy at this table. 
I appreciate the support, guys. Or rather, girls. But this is between me and Jonesy. Hey, guys. Hi, Nikki. I gotta get to work. What's her problem? What's her problem? What is your problem? How could you do that to Nikki? Is this about the extra butter on the popcorn? I know how Nikki hates that. We saw you hugging Joni. And feeding her curly fries. Wait, you guys don't think I like Joni. I can't talk to you right now. <sighs> Say hi to Joni for me, since I obviously can't. I have nowhere to go, but I'm still leaving. Guys, let me explain. Fine. I don't need any of you. I'm a lone wolf. I am an island. <laughs> it's no fun when you don't react. Who put salt in your sugar shaker? Nikki thinks we have a thing. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Us? No way. <laughs> Dude, I know! I mean, I realize it's difficult to resist my natural charms and good looks. I've always been more of a guy's girl, but I do know a thing or two about women. Show Nikki how much she means to you, and she'll be putty in your hands. Hey, did we ever get those tickets for that museum thing? Nikki loves museums! How should I know? Right, I'll check it out myself. Thanks, Jonesmeister. Anytime, Jonesmeister. Oh, this can't be! Maybe if I carry the zero. No. Face it, Coach. The sales figures are terrible. We haven't sold a thing all week. Go with the flow, Coach. Flow? Ah. Oh. I gotta do something before we're all out of a job. What was that? Gum? Oh, I hate gum! Little offside gum chewing, Coach. Not a big deal. Just go with the flow, right? Ah! May the sales force be with you. I have only begun to fight. We're like sorry about your messed up love life, Nikki. We are? If you want to cry, we won't take pictures for our blog. <laughs> Leave now, or I force feed you garbage. Last time, we tried to be nice. Khaki Barn reserves the right to refuse service to jerks. Aren't you even going to look at the tickets? I couldn't care l <gasps> You got tickets for the new exhibition? Oh, I've been dying to see it. Wait, how did you know? These babies actually work, you know. I don't know, Jonesy. You like spitballs, belching, and... Well, I don't. Maybe you should be with someone like Joni. <laughs> that would be like dating myself. And I already spend too much time with me as it is. I like that when I'm with you, I don't have to start all my stories at the beginning. Um, that was the sappiest thing I've ever heard. Thanks. At least one thing is back to normal. You okay, coach? Never been more chill. So you don't mind that my socks don't match? Uh, no problema, amiga. Oh, look, a chocolate stain on my penalty box jersey. No biggie, right? I accept the path of love. You're gonna let me get away with that? That's it, I give up! Whoa! Whoa! Jersey, fix our socks, clean up this mess. Jude, you're fired. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and Jude, no hard feelings. About what, brah? Aw, thanks. No, seriously? About what? Masterson, I can't believe you let me hire this lunkhead. Red card, you're on probation. I give up. So, jam session went well. Yep. I think Pete's finally gotten the hang of those riffs. 
Yeah. Though, did you miss that last chord progression? It sounded a little, uh, funny. Funny? Sort of like that face you sometimes make when you sing? The one that looks like you have to go to the bathroom? Hey, guys. How was rehearsal? Great. Awesome. So, okay. Cool. Hey, guys. Ugh, at least someone's in a good mood. You believe in love at first sight, right? Totally. Happened to me when I saw that new turbo-powered jet ski at the boat show. Nice. Who is he? Uh, his name is Callum. I met him at Andrea's costume party last night. Mm, he was a gladiator. Tall, blonde, buff. Sounds like a total hottie. He said he'd drop by today. So let me know if you see him so I can lose the lemon hat. You bet. So, dude, you listen to that CD I burned you? Nah. Marlo and I rented a movie last night. Isn't that like the tenth night in a row you guys have watched a movie? I guess we're kind of in a rut. A rut? Nice thing to say in front of your girlfriend. Well, it's sort of true, isn't it? It is now. <gasps> I just found a pack of gum I didn't know I had. <sighs> Don't you just love it when that happens? Callum and now this. It's like the best day ever. Gum anyone? <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last I don't know what it is. Marlo and I are just in a weird place. I mean, I really like her, but we're driving each other nuts. You have been fighting a lot. I think we're spending too much time together. You saying you want to kick her to the curb? That's the last thing I want. A little advice. If you want to spice things up, just hook up with another chick. What? Trust me, nothing gets a girl more hooked than if she thinks she's on the way out. Uh-uh. I'm not messing with Marlo's head. Don't knock it. Sometimes a little head messing is all it takes. We just need to not spend every second together. Hanging out, texting, talking on the phone. <sighs> hey, Marlo. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, see you there. Marlo said we need to talk. She's gonna dump me. She's gonna dump me. What are you doing? If Marlo can't find me, she can't break up with me. I'm not taking any chances. Not after Serena. He's right. If he never sees her again, they might live happily ever after. So you want to know why else today is the best day ever? You mean besides the gum? I finally filled my khaki card. Your crappy barn frequent shoppers card? You have to spend 20 bucks like 50 times. I've been racking up points on this card since I was like 14. But today's the day I'm finally going to get that cute pink cami for free. You're so lucky. Yeah, lucky. You finish your card, and then you get to start all over again. I know. I can't wait. <gasps> Callum! <gasps> huh? huh? Caitlin! Nice digs you have here. Callum, these are my friends Jen and Nikki. Hi. Hi. So... Can I have a lemon squishy? Sure. So, did Caitlin tell you her new main man's a champion skateboarder? You're, um, a shredder? Uh-huh. The best. I play the Tony Hawk video game a lot. My mom won't let me ride real skateboard till I'm 18. Here you go. Does this have pulp in it? Because pulp triggers my gag reflex. <laughs> hey! Sorry. Think I could get another one? Okay, coming up. Oh, and give me your phone number while you're at it. 
I'm gonna need it now that we're dating and all. Sure. Sea Dog scores the digits. So, how about a hug for the road? Ah! <laughs> Oops. Maybe that'll be our thing. Me spilling stuff on you. See you soon, sweet cheeks. He's such a dork. He was in costume at the party. I don't get it. Why did you give him your phone number? Just because I gave him a number doesn't mean I gave him my number. I have a standard fake. Every experienced dater has one. Whenever a guy I'm not into asks for my digits, I give him the number to the Gigantoplex. The Gigantoplex? I figure they'll go see a movie and forget all about me. There is a certain Caitlin logic to that. Well, I'm off to the khaki barn to cash in my frequent shopper's cut. Where's my khaki card? It was right here on the counter. You mean the little piece of paper you wrote your fake number on? <gasps> oh, I gave it to Callum. Oh, it took me two years to finish that card. Take it easy, Caitlin. You just need to go to the Gigantoplex, tell them what happened, and have them put Callum in touch when he calls. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you're the best, Nikki. I'm gonna get my new cami after all. Well now, don't I feel like a hero? Enemy defeated. Hero Victoria. Woohoo! In your face, fourth graders! Hey, watch it! Wyatt! What are you doing? Avoiding Marlo? Dude, you've got a man up. You can't spend your whole life running from her. What if she dumps me? Don't let her. Like Nikki always says, a relationship is a two-way street. You've got to say too, bro. You know what? You're right. I'm not going to let her dump me. Way to go. If I hurry, I can still make it to Cafe Carbrise to meet her. Whoa, dude. Cafe Carbrise is the breakup place in the mall. They serve tissues on the menu. It's a wonder Serena didn't take me there. It's new. Figures. Back to plan A. Hey, where are you going? Plus size Palooza, the oversized women's wear store. It's the last place Marlo will look for me. I would hope so. Hey, Jonesy, uh, have you seen Wyatt? What do you mean by seen? Have I seen him at the mall? Or have I seen him naked? Because that is definitely not my thing. I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? Depends. What do you need to talk to him about? That would be between Wyatt and I. Well, then I guess I don't know where he is. I obviously wanted Wyatt to be the one to hear this, but I think he and I need to take a break. What? Why? We've been spending too much time together. So spend less time together. It's just not working, okay? Not okay! Don't do this! For all our sakes, and I don't just mean you, Wyatt and myself. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, the last time I checked, it was just me and Wyatt in this relationship. That is exactly how the selfish-minded person thinks! It's all about me, 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 Wyatt, 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 but there's the rest of the gang to think of. That's five whole other people. Didn't you hear what happened last time? We can't afford a repeat of the Serena situation. I'm not Serena. She broke up with Wyatt in a text message. Come on, Wyatt has so many terrific qualities. He has, uh, great penmanship. And he washes his hands religiously after he pees. I know Wyatt's an awesome guy, though not necessarily for those reasons. That's why I don't want us to end up hating each other. <sighs> Fine. If you won't budge, at least let me break it to him. You? You can't be serious. Serious as a zit on prom night. You have no idea what we, I mean, what life was like for Wyatt after Serena dumped him. He did kind of freak out, huh? Yes, yes he did. Which is why you have to let me do it for you. Okay, but you've got to promise to break it to him gently. Absolutely. frickin' lootly If anyone knows how to toss an old ball and chain down the crapper, gently, it's me. Come on, he's my best friend. Okay. Hi. I'm hoping you can help me. My name is Caitlin Cook. So you're Caitlin Cook, the one guys always call for. Now I know what the fuss is about. Uh, yeah. The thing is, there's this guy, Callum. I gave him your number as my standard fake, but now I need to get in touch with him. So I was hoping that when he calls, you could give him my real number. Sure thing, sugar. You just give it to me, and I'll give it to him. 
That would be awesome. Thanks. Then we can share a tub of hot buttered fun. Uh, yeah. Right. So as long as Wyatt avoids Marlo, he'll never know she wants to dump him. And we're golden. Sweet plan, huh? Okay, let me get this straight. You told Marlo that you'd break up with Wyatt, which is insane, but you don't actually intend on doing it? Correct, Mundo. He doesn't know, she doesn't know. We all live happily ever after. This is ridiculous. Somebody needs to tell Wyatt. And live through the whole Serena thing again? Wyatt really was devastated. He propositioned Serena over the mall loudspeaker and took up angst-ridden spoken poetry. We have to tell him. We just need to break it to him in a way that Wyatt will understand. Okay, do it your way. Any volunteers to dump him? That's what I figured. Fine, if nobody wants to do it, we'll draw straws. Fine, I'll do it. I'm the relationship expert. So, what did you want to talk to me about? <sighs> um, so Wyatt, have you ever been shopping and seen a really cute top that you just had to have? Uh, no. Just go with me on this. Say you love this top. You buy it, but when you get it home, it just doesn't work. You know what I'm getting at? I think so. And you're right. That top doesn't look very good on you. You should return it. What? I love this top. <sighs> Maybe Jen will have better luck. Definitely. That top would look way better on Jen. What? How should I put this? You know, Wyatt, life is like hockey. It is? Think about it. There's a minute left in the third period. You're down six goals. Why pull the goalie and fight on? You might as well take the loss, keep your head high, and try to do better next time. Do you see where I'm going with this? Hockey can get kind of boring. It's best to leave early before the parking lot jams up. You know that boa constrictor at the pet store? Yeah, what about it? Well, every so often, it's got to shed its old scratchy skin so it can get some hot new better skin. Know what I'm saying, dude? Not really. Be the snake, bro. Be the snake. Right. I don't believe you people. What is so hard about walking up to the guy and saying, Wyatt, Marlo doesn't want to see you anymore. If you think it's so easy, go tell him yourself. He's hiding from Marlo behind the potted plant. Wyatt, I have something to tell you. Sure, Nikki. Shoot. I, um, <clears throat> it's just that, uh, you need to know that, uh, I love your music. Uh, thanks, Nikki. Sorry, I just spotted a better hiding place. So, did you guys tell him? Wussed out, huh? Knew it. This job calls for a pro. When Jonesy cuts someone loose, they are totally ditched, dumped, bagged, and left at the curb with a twist tie. Breakup rule number eight, according to Teen Scene Magazine. Yeah, the source for fashion and relationship tips for today's hot happening teens. Never tell the person you're breaking up with, I still want to be friends. Totally. They never mean it. Tell me about it. It's like, I've got enough friends. What I wanted was a boyfriend. Click, got the picture. Can I go now? Just remember, Jonesy, when you break Wyatt's heart, be careful not to hurt him. Great, got it. Later. So, have you heard from Callum about getting your khaki card back? I probably would have by now, but I sort of fake numbered the guy at the Gigantaplex. Why would you do that? I couldn't give that guy my real number. He was a total creep. Okay, reality check. How are you going to get your card back if this Callum dude can't get in touch with you? Actually, he can. I gave the Gigantaplex guy the number at the penalty box. What? No way. Maybe you better get over there. Callum might call. Forget it, Caitlin. I'm not your receptionist. Alrighty then. I'll just answer the call myself. Anything to get my khaki card back. Toodles. You know you'll get fired if she shows up at work instead of you. Ugh, I know. <gasps> Cafe Coeur Blisé? Jonesy's breaking the news to Wyatt. <laughs> Why? Why are you breaking up with me? Please, give me another chance. Things 
Mr. Stale, huh? I'll get you stale! Why did you want to meet here? Well, the truth is, I ran into Marlo this afternoon and, hard as this is to say, things just aren't working out. With you and Marlo? Dude, with you and Marlo. What? <laughs> you know it, bro. Spending all that time together, getting on each other's nerves, it's been too much. I can't believe it. I'm getting this from you? You're breaking up with me for Marlo? <gasps> You're dumping him for some girl named Marlo? And switching teams? Uh, no, you don't understand. Don't make excuses for him. Marlo must be a real backstabber to come between you. You've got it all wrong. Wyatt and I were never, uh, anything. Oh, so now you're denying your entire relationship? Hey, that one had butter on it. Wait, Jonesy, give me another chance. I'm sorry, dude. It's over. Ooh. So, you two are breaking up. No. Yes! Love's like war. And I've taken my share of shrapnel. You don't get it. We're not breaking up. You've got it all wrong. We're, we're not. You're trying to break up and he won't let go. Quite frankly, son, you can do better. Hey! Penalty box. Do I carry jock straps? Ew, no! Perv. Hey! You want to tell me exactly what's going on here, Pee-wee? Excuse me, coach. <gasps> it's a text from Nikki! Jen! Jonesy did it! He broke up with Wyatt! <gasps> Poor Wyatt! He must be devastated! Okay, five-minute foul for the both of you! Sorry, coach, on a break. You can bench me as soon as I get back. And I don't work here. But somebody's got to answer the phone for me. Hey, Crusher, mm -hmm. has anybody ever told you how majorly cute you are? Think you could answer the phone for me for just a couple minutes? <laughs> That's it! You're all in the penalty box! Okay, we got you ice cream, everything on it, pizza, and lots and lots of chocolate. The official breakup recovery kit. Thanks, guys, but I'm not in the mood. <sighs> Marlo and I had such a good thing going. Ooh, tasty breakup grub. Don't mind if I do. Please, give me another chance. I don't want to break up. Wyatt, chill. This is the way it's got to be. The sooner you accept it, the sooner I get to the ice cream. Got you some weepy videos, dude. Sorry about the breakup. I heard you two made a really cute couple. <laughs> <gasps> it's Coach. Hello? Get back here, Masterson! Oh, you're my new speed bag. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. I heard. I'm coming. <gasps> I'll get it. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay, Callum, you're in luck. Callum will meet you at the lemon in 10. Yes! Pink Cammy, here I come. Wow, Wyatt, I had no idea how much you liked ice cream. Guess I've sort of developed a taste for it in the time since Jonesy dumped me. I'm sorry, I wanted to do it, but Jonesy convinced me it'd be easier for you his way and I couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, I was sort of avoiding you. Things have just gotten sort of messed up. With the band and the mall, we've just been spending so much time together. I know, we have been getting on each other's nerves. So, are you going to say you just want to be friends? Nope, I think we're going to be the best of exes. Mm. Whoa, brah! You run into a brick wall? A brick wall in a hockey jersey. Hi, Callum! Whoa! Hey! Caitlin? Wow, you look really different. So, um, do you have that card I gave you? The one with my phone number on it? Uh, I forgot it at home. Shoot. Well, I'd love to see you again. Can I have your number? Sure. Here you go. Later. Yay! <laughs> At least I got his number. 555-7832. I'll just call him and pick up my card. 
Um, Kate, did you say 5557832? Yeah, why? <gasps> Call 5557832 for complete colon cleansing? I got fake numbered? Me? Uh, have you looked in a mirror lately? <laughs> I'm never gonna get my khaki card back! Come on, let's go get you started on a new crappy card. Yep, I think it's time for a little retail therapy. And if that doesn't work, you can always try the colon cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you doing? Breaking up stinks. You know, for the record, I did beg Marlo not to dump you. But Marlo and I talked and agreed this is for the best. Which is exactly what I told her. If there's one thing I've learned from Serena, it's that there's life after breaking up. Right you are, bro. There's plenty of hot chicks out there, including those two right over there. Hello, ladies. Ugh. Ow! <laughs> hey, Wyatt. Hey, what's up? I think he's gonna be okay. Though I can't say the same for my gut. I think your stomach will be just fine. Though I wish I could say the same for your big mouth. So what are you gonna wear to your cousin's wedding this weekend? Who cares? I hate weddings. Weddings are so romantic. Happy, shiny couples in modern classic formal wear. What's not to love? How about getting stuck between Robbie and Diego at the kids' table? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I can drive a car, but I can't sit at the grown-up table. You can't really drive, though, unless it involves crashing. Not the point. I'm 16. It's ridiculous. Don't worry. Jonesy and I will keep you company. Nope. I have a girlfriend, so I get to sit at the grown-up table. Look at me. I'm a grown-up. Finally, I can listen to boring music and go to bed early. Oh, sure. Jonesy's all grown up. But once again, Jen gets stuck with the nose pickers and the food throwers. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Because Jen can't take another wedding at the kids' table. That's why. You wouldn't have to sit there if you had a date, though, right? Like that'll ever happen. That's what friends are for. Right, Nikki? Hey, I like Jen, but not in that way. No, I mean we can find a date for Jen. Your very own Mr. Perfect. Assuming I haven't already run away to join the Foreign Legion. What's the Foreign Legion? Not sure, but I think it has something to do with leaving the country, which is good enough for me. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together. Why, it's old lady. Hey, what's with the bucket? I'm on vacay, dudes. Vacay? I haven't had a holiday in forever. So, I'm taking some much-o-needed r and &R. Ah, this is the life. Well, as long as you're happy. I'll be happy once I get some tannage happening, dude. Uh, Jude, you can't get a tan from fluorescent lights. <laughs> Watch me. I don't get why teenagers ever have to sit at the kids' table. Who cares, as long as it's Jen and not us? Is this me or what? We have to find Jen a date for that wedding so she can sit with us. Jen, 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 what about me? I need a shirt for the wedding. What's your discount here, anyway? We're a couple, Wyatt's with Marlo, Caitlin's always got someone on the go. But Jen, always single. It's not fair. You're right. She's not that disgusting. There must be some dumb boob we can con into dating her. Hey! Dax? Is that you? Nikki, 
I can't believe it. Jonesy, this is Dax. Dax, my boyfriend Jonesy. Hey, good to meet you, man. Hey, are you single? But Nikki just said you were her boyfriend. I am. We were just talking about a friend of ours who needs a date. Still do a lot of running? Yeah, I'm competing in a track and field meet next month. Perfect. You're going to love Jen. She's really into sports, too. If this Jen girl's so great, why does she need help getting a date? Two words, low self-esteem. That's three words. You guys really aren't selling it. Jen works for the penalty box. How does a 50% discount on running shoes sound? Okay, I'll do it. See ya. What? There are no lows I won't stoop to for Jen. That's sweet. Coach will still kill you, but it's sweet. No littering! <laughs> no running! <laughs> no coughing, mister! And hey, watch that breathing! <laughs> well, uh, hello there, ma'am. Uh, ma'am! I mean, miss. Miss! How silly of me. I get confused when I'm around someone so beautiful. Oh, go on. You smell very nice. <laughs> like um, flowers. <laughs> and <laughs> oranges. <laughs> and burning rubber. <gasps> but I love the scent of burning rubber in the morning. Tell me, young man, what's your mom looking for in a romantic relationship? Ah! No! You're the only girl for me I'd crawl through fire for you But I hope you never ask me to Oh, Marlo Oh, Wyatt, that is the most romantic thing I've ever heard <laughs> There's gotta be someone in the mall Jen can date <laughs> <laughs> oh, No, too dumb Blish, you're smart. <laughs> ah! Just right. One lemonade, beautiful. Excellent choice. Uh, uh do gray. Want to date someone incredible, do gray? I kind of just wanted a lemonade, not a whole relationship. <laughs> no offense. Oh, it's not for me. Although, why not me? Sporty brunettes are more my speed. Then I've got the perfect sporty brunette for you. If she's so perfect, why are you pawning her off on guys you barely know? That's a great question, Dugray. Here's another. How would you like free lemonade for an entire year? I'll do it. Troubadour at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Come on, adolescent scum. Come on, give me something I can work with. Ha! No lettering! What did I do? You're mine now, you good for nothing lawbreaker. <laughs> Jen, I'd like you to meet somebody. This is Dugray, a snowboarder who loves lemonade and dancing at weddings. Get it? Weddings? Pleasure's all mine, beautiful. Oh, hello. You can stop whining now, Jen. <sighs> I mean, say hello to the man of your dreams. This is my old friend Dax, a nationally acclaimed triathlete. Hobbies include jogging in the rain and escorting dates to the adult table. Huh? Huh? Uh you're prettier than a June bug in spring. I have no idea what that means, but howdy. That's great, you guys, but I've got the sitch totally under control. Sure doesn't look that way. Hey, stop flirting with the wrong guy. Do grace the guy for you. Who says our guy is the wrong guy? Because we got here first. Which means it was probably a rush job. <gasps> That is so not true. It was pretty quick. Quiet, you. All right, all right, everyone calm down. Clearly, Jen's got a decision to make. Who do you want to bring to the wedding? Uh, er, uh, mm, e, ooh, it's tough. Um, ooh, I know how to settle this. A gladiator battle to the death? No, sample dates. Jen goes out with both candidates and makes her decision based on that. Sounds good to me. Really, really good. 
<laughs> I guess I could do that. I do have the afternoon free. It's in the bag, dude. We're so gonna kick his sorry butt. So, um, Ron? When are you gonna let me out of this cell? When you're ready to cooperate, punk. Cooperate with what? I still don't understand what the charges are. Resisting arrest. Failure to comply with authorities. Littering. I didn't litter. You can't just lock people up anytime you feel like it. I have rights. You're in mall jail, Junior Miss. The rules of the outside world no longer apply. Well, I'm sure my friends will be here any minute to bail me out. Hey, has anyone seen Wyatt lately? No. Afraid not. Nuh-uh. Who? Oh, well. I'm sure he'll turn up. Looks like your friends don't care. That's not true. They're bound to come here. Eventually. They aren't coming. You belong to me now, maggot. Get used to it. Okay, Dax, go get that girl! Bag that hottie! Land that lassie! That is your stepsister, remember? So? I want to win! Good luck, man. Thanks, bud. Don't shake hands with the enemy! I think you might be taking this competition thing a little too seriously. It's called a winning attitude. Look into it! We don't need to! Because you're going down, loser! Hey there, pretty lady. Thanks for putting up with all of this, you guys. Yeah. It's worth it if it means rescuing a fair maiden like yourself from the kitty table. That is so sweet. What'd I tell you? Dax is a lock. It's like taking candy from a candy machine that's broken and spilling over with candy. These are for you. Oh, do gray. They're beautiful. Who said you could bring props? All spare and love and wedding receptions. So... Do either of you guys surf? Actually, I know this great spot. Really private, totally picturesque, but I'm kind of waiting to share it with the right girl. Oh, that is so romantic. Oh, what the? Caitlin? Oops. Get Jen a drink and don't cheap out. Jen, uh, I notice your cup is empty. Let me get you another coffee. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. Dax, can I get you anything? A glass of water would be great. I don't drink coffee. I believe life is the ultimate stimulant. Me too. Well, now I do. Ah! Hey, you tripped my guy! Caitlin, you're still here? You beamed our guy in the head with a muffin first. Jonesy, what are you doing here? Just trying to help you make the right... Ah! Hmm. Stop attacking each other with baked goods. I've made my decision. Really? So who's it gonna be? Dax. Sweet. What? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's but right. We did, did it. it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was three on two. I demand a rematch. It was really nice meeting you, Dugray. Good luck with everything, and I uh, yeah, hope you have a great time at the wedding. Where do you think you're going? Um, home? I didn't raise you to be a quitter. Your friend seems happy enough. Isn't that what you wanted? Back when I was young and foolish, maybe. But now, now I want more. Jonesy and Nikki won this battle, but we're going to win the war. Uh, your eye is twitching. No, it isn't. Thanks again for setting me up with Dax, you guys. Now I can't wait to go to the wedding. And we don't have to worry about you being a third wheel all night. Ow! I'm just saying what we're all thinking. And who knows? Weddings are pretty romantic. Maybe this date will turn into something more serious. Ah, oh, romance. Chicks always fall for that crap. That's right, ladies. The village idiot is taken. You love my plain spoken charm. Is that what we're calling it now? Those barbecue stickets smell awesome! <laughs> Did you see the look on Caitlin's face when Jen picked Dax over her guy? She was all, what? <laughs> she was pretty miffed. I'm sure she's over it by now. Basketball, Jen's favorite spectator sport. Sucker punch, Jen's favorite band. Skis, 
Uh, uh, Jen's favorite winter sport? No, chocolate skis. Jen's favorite sugary treat. Where's your head at? Chocolate, oh, right. Jen should be getting back from break any second now. Get in there and step up your game. Are you in this or not? Let me hear you. I'm in this. Louder. I'm in this! That was hillbilly me. I got one mule, one cart, and one good eye on me. <laughs> up next, we got Ricky Yoko with a bag of chewing tobacco for two. All on Country 92. Yeehaw! No more country! I beg you! Huh? How's that soap scum? You gotta let me out of here. The walls are closing in. I, I can't take it anymore. What will you do to get out, booby pants? Anything. Perfect. <sighs> That's better. Why are you giving me my guitar? So you can teach me that love song you were singing to your girlfriend this morning. Now, like, how, how, how do you hold this thing? You mean you've never played before? First time for everything. I'm never getting out of here, am I? Not with that attitude, mister! <sighs> Do Gray, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Jen. I forgot you worked here. I was just listening to the new Sucker Punch album. You like Sucker Punch? Sure. Doesn't everyone? Chocolate Ski? You like chocolate skis? I know. Weird, right? No way. They're great. Hey. Do you know anyone who likes college basketball? You like college basketball? I've got two tickets to the game next week, <sighs> but no one to take. I'll go! Sorry, but I'm not the kind of guy who poaches other guys' girls. You are dating Dax now. Not anymore! Want to go to a wedding with me this weekend? For real? Wear a blue shirt. It'll match my dress. Yes! Who was that? Nobody. For the last time, this is the A chord! Uh, no! Like this! Ah! The strings are cutting into my fingers. They feel like lumps of ground meat. You have to build up calluses, see? Ah! Ah, my back is killing me! Uh, playing for five hours straight will do that. I haven't been tortured like this since the enemy rounded up my platoon. You want torture? Try sitting over here. I won't give up my unit. You can torture me all you want. What? Run, Carl! Run for your life! Torture flashback. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Give me an A chord! Now! Ah! Again! Curse you! Again! Now we're getting somewhere. Again! <laughs> Bakey rocks! Yeah! 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 Hey guys, we're not speaking to you. Okay. Starting right after we finish yelling at you. How could you dump Dax for Dugray? He was our guy. We liked him a lot. A lot, a lot. Look, it's not him, it's me. I just realized that Dugray and I have way more in common. Caitlin must have put him up to it. Oh, that little rat. We'll fix her wagon. What does that even mean? I thought you guys just wanted me to have a date for the wedding. Oh, please. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I think I made a mistake. Dugray and I have everything in common, so it's totally boring. Well, you can never go back to Dax. <laughs> Not after you broke our heart. Come on, guys, I'm sorry. Too little, too late. Not speaking begins now. Hey, are you all right? I saw those people yelling at you. Not cool. Oh, them? Yeah, they're uh, special. I'm Adam. And you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in a referee uniform. Oh, <laughs> I'm Jen. You're playing the song. You did it. No, son, we did it. You sick tormentor. Thanks. Glad I could help. Well, 
You held up your part of the bargain. You're free to go. Wow, great, thanks. What's the matter, Street Meat? It's crazy, but I was just starting to have fun. Me too, me too. But if you ever tell a living soul, no one will hear from you again. Got it. Anything else you want to learn to play? Do you know Stairway to Heaven? I love that song. <sighs> Turned out to be a great day, huh, guys? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Everybody, this is Adam. We just met and totally clicked. So I've decided to take him to the wedding instead. What? How could you do that to me? Uh, I mean, do gray. He's perfect. No, he isn't. Dax was perfect. Mike, I can speak French. Our guy can burp the alphabet. Mike, I can save lives. Our guy can drive a speedboat. Mike, I can fly. Our guy can shoot lasers with his mind. Guys, quit it. You're going to scare away Adam? Adam? Oopsie. Oh, man. Any chance it isn't too late to get do gray or Dax back? Howdy dudes and dudettes. <gasps> Dude, you actually got a tan? But that's not possible. You've been under fluorescent lights all day. You see, the key to a good vacay, it's all in the mind. A sunless, self-tannerless tan? My hero. A toast to the bride and groom. To the bride, bride and groom. the dumb old bride and groom. <laughs> I hate weddings. Am I doing this right? Relax and feel the rays, brah. Hey, guys. Wyatt, where have you been? We looked everywhere for you. Really? Nah, not really. Oh, darling, can't you see? You're the only girl for me. I'd crawl through fire for you. I just hope you never ask me to. Oh, darling. Oh, Ron, that's the most romantic song I've ever heard. <sighs> hey, I know that song. That's totally a Wyatt original. Have you been helping Ron score with Yummy Mummy? What? No, that's crazy. Well, yeah. Just as I thought, a total softy. Guilty as charged. You promised me 50% off running shoes if I dated Jen. You promised me free lemonade for a year. You guys offered bribes to date me? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Uh, no, it didn't. Oh, right, whatever. I, I, I'll give you half price on a scientific calculator <laughs> and throw in a protractor for free. And what would I do with a scientific calculator? Calculate complex second order nonlinear ordinary differential equations. <gasps> or not. <laughs> I can't believe that little Cami I love finally went on sale. It was like Cami Karma. Hottie alert, two o'clock. Somebody's been working out. Yeah, doing bicep curls with Darth. He's gonna drop them. <laughs> hey there, cutie patootie. <laughs> hey there yourself. I'm Jack. Wanna grab a bite? Maybe make out in the photo booth? Um, no thanks. What? Why not? For starters, bullying is so not cool. Plus, you're wearing socks <gasps> with your sandals. Ew! Ew. Poor Darth. I can't believe what a jerk that guy was. I know. Some people think they can get away with murder. I mean, please, it's either cold enough for socks or warm enough for sandals. Never both. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last.
Hey, Darth. Change your pants yet? <laughs> we heard what happened. Don't be embarrassed, dude. Even the Vader would have pooped his cape. You okay, Darth? Affirmative. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> Caitlin, I am here to inform you that as you saved me from certain death, I am now your humble servant. Uh, it was no biggie. Oh, but it was. And as a valiant Jedi Knight, I am now at your service. I'd really rather not make a big deal out of this, okay, Darth? I'm afraid that's not possible. I will not leave your side until my debt has been repaid. <laughs> Don't worry. You won't even notice I'm here. I promise. <clears throat> Caitlin, incoming hottie. Hey. <gasps> Greetings, hearty. May I interest you in a citrus fruit beverage to quench your thirst and soothe your olfactory senses? Wait, come back! How long did you say you have to be my loyal protector? Until I have successfully averted your death. <sighs> Didn't your parents get you that laptop to help you score better grades in school? Uh-huh. And how's that working for you? Wicked. My scores for Online Doom Squadron have, like, triple. Hey, can I check my email? My snowboarding coach is announcing our new team captain, a.k.a. moi. Hmm. Confident much? Anything? Just mass emails. Delete. 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 You don't even read them? Why would I? This one says I have to forward it to a hundred people or suffer bad luck forever. Delete. Whoa. Shouldn't you do what the email says? I don't have a hundred addresses and wouldn't forward it if I did. People who send those things are annoying. I do. I rest my case. Besides, you can't get bad luck from an email. Ow, mm. darn. You sure about that, brah? Uh-huh. I'm also sure I'm late for work. Catch you later. Bye. See ya. There goes disaster. Darth, you cannot come into the washroom with me. But 70% of accidents in the home occur in the... Stay. Be careful in there. Hey, Darth, can I join me for a bite? I've got some fresh ground beef with your name on it. No can do. I'm waiting for someone. You're waiting for a girl? But, but I'm your girlfriend. A fact, I am very aware of my little taco, but my Jedi forces are needed elsewhere. Oh, but fine. There's got to be another way out of here. Did you know that people fart up to like 15 times a day? Dude, I'm at like 22. <laughs> 23. <laughs> Jonesy? Jude? Is that you? I think it's the ghost of Caitlyn. <gasps> Darth must have failed to protect her. I'm fine, Jude. I, I mean, I need help. Darth is waiting for me outside the washroom. We saw him. You got to admit, the guy is dedicated. Oh, that little Jedi master's totally cramping my style. Just let Darth save your life and he'll leave you alone. How? We're in the mall. I have near-death experiences here all the time, brah. But you'll probably have to fake yours. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thought I'd drop in for a visit. Dude! I found something in the air vent! Um, <clears throat> uh, the sign on the door says women. You can't believe everything you read, little dude. It is safe to proceed. <gasps> oh! Let's just yes! That girl stole my boyfriend! So knock her off! Ow! <laughs> yeah, okay. Can I borrow your ball launcher? It's on, sister! 
Jonesy thinks if I pretend to let Darth save me, he'll leave me alone. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Throw yourself down the stairs? Ooh, good one! Uh, maybe you should start with something less painful. Just slip and fall or something. Thanks, Wyatt. Bye! Here, Darth. You must be thirsty. Oops! <laughs> Better wipe that up. Darth, save me! Step away from my man! Sorry. Close enough. Hmm. Now what do we have here? Those are seriously old videos, bro. Which were hidden in an air vent. Anything hidden is worth finding, dude. It's treasure. Everything hidden is not treasure. Jen hides her zits under makeup. I hide my overwhelming sense of insecurity behind heavily laden sarcasm. <laughs> Suckers! Looks like old store security tapes. Quite a treasure, Jude. Quite a treasure. I'm watching them, dudes. Yeah. The only thing more boring than hanging with the two of you is hanging with the two of you while watching that. See ya. I'm in a jet too, buddy. See ya. You get her this time! <laughs> Pow! Well, I guess we'll sit and eat. Caitlin, wait! Ow! Darth, you failed me again. Huh. I, I'll see you next time, I promise! Oh, I smell trouble all right. Dude, are you seriously watching those? And... Wayne? What? The kid in this video rocks. He's pulled some of the best pranks of the late 20th century. <laughs> all right. Kid's got spunk, all right. Reminds me of, well, me. Hey, Jude, can I check my email again? Whoa, what happened, brah? You get the Ouch. license plate? Coach Halder gave me a five minute penalty for being late. Then I slammed my hand in the penalty box door, slipped on a pile of golf balls, skinned my knee, and got another five minute foul. I guess somebody's wishing she forwarded a certain email this morning? Yes, I am having the worst day ever, but not because of some dumb email. Yes, and the new captain of the girls snowboarding team is... <gasps> Kathy what? Bummer, brah. That stinks. <laughs> Did you see that? The dude just rigged a fire hose to the water fountain. Nice. Classic. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Ow. Not my fault. It was the email. I've got a bunch of addresses I can send you. I've got 40 on my customer mailing list. I'll give you those if you get me another 50. <sighs> Deal. Darth keeps messing up, Wyatt. There's got to be another way to ditch him. We do it my way this time. Ah! Save me, Darth! <gasps> I can't get wet. I have a reoccurring ear infection in my water wings and in my nose plug. Worst Jedi ever! <laughs> What do we have here? You're mine, Taco. <gasps> what happened, Jen? I deleted a forward I was supposed to send to 100 people or suffer bad luck forever. Bummer. Tell me about it. How's it going with Darth? I think I need a new strategy. Why is Darth still with that floozy? Oh, I think I need a new strategy. If you can't be here, join her. <laughs> I could be a damsel in distress, too. Jonesy here. I've tried everything, but Darth still hasn't saved me. Caitlin, you know, you didn't actually save Darth's life. 
He just would have been maimed, not killed. Really? Heck yes! So Darth just needs to help you out. And you need to make his life suck so bad he quits. Make him knit you socks or something. Thanks, Jonesy! You're a genius! Tell me about it. Later! I can't believe you guys are still watching that garbage. Hey, wasn't today your first day at Boots and Bags? You got a job at Boots and Bags? <laughs> first shift doesn't start till 1. Yeah, it's 4.30. What? Oh man, I am so fired! So I didn't save your life. It was only the second floor. Agreed. But I owe you a debt of gratitude. What can I do for you? You can knit me socks. And when you're done that, you can scrub down the lemon, reply to my emails, and organize my makeup. A Jedi's work is never done. Win a dream vacation. Don't forget your email address. What's up? You get another job? I'm collecting addresses so that I can forward that awful email. <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't forward it to me. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Crap. You might like to know I made you a My Face page. You had so many pictures, I posted them online. I listed your favorite stores, Star! your favorite magazines, What's your favorite color? Ooh, um, teal. Oh, Darth! Teal it is. Whoa, Darth, Darth, save me! Oh, uh, e uh, 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 I think I broke my taco. <laughs> oh, Darth, you're the best. It's war. <laughs> Rabbits? <laughs> Clever and devious. Finally, a role model I can aspire to. Uh oh. Looks like the Rena Cop's gonna get him. Run, dude! Busted! Who's the new dude? <laughs> Did you see that? That was. was. Rent-a-cop! It can't be. Those tapes are like 30 years old. That would make Ron like 80. It must be Ron's dad. But that would make that kid, my my hero, Ron the Rent-a-cop? Here's your new mailing list. Finally scored my hundred email addresses. But I'm just like him. I'm a total prankster. What if I end up like the Rent-a-cop? What's with him? I'm saved! I'm doomed. Where did all the hotties come from? I really am gonna turn into the Rent-A-Cop, aren't I? Darth made Caitlyn a My Face page. I guess she's gotten a lot of hits. And a lot of hit-ons. <laughs> Hi, can I get you something? Actually, I was hoping I could get you something. <laughs> oh, Darth! You saved my love life! Then my Jedi duty has been fulfilled. Get your hands off my man, you! You lemon tart! Julie, I, <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see what you think about. Whoa, there are Ow! That burns! That's right. It's just you and me now. Taco against lemon. Stop it! Ow! is the worst Jedi ever. Back off, Julie. You've got it all wrong. Darth was just... Ow! Save it, sister. For once, I think I'm speechless. Please don't let me turn out like the Rent-A-Cop. Please don't let me turn out like the Rent-A-Cop.
30 years from now. Go, Caitlin! Pucker up, lemon head! Enough! Is that you? Oh, it's, it's me, Darth! You saved my life! I will remain by your side until I have reciprocated! Sounds super! <clears throat> this isn't over, Taco. <clears throat> I know where you work. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, brother. You're not gonna turn into the Rent-A-Cop, okay? You already tried that, remember? You sucked and were heinously fired. Thanks, Nikki. You always know just what to say. You better now, girls? Much. Not so much. All those people I forwarded that email to have my address, and I got 23 new forwards. Better get that clipboard. Hey, Darth, I was thinking, yellow is such a pretty color. Could you update my MyFace page? Darth? Darth! Ah, oh, rats! I think we missed the tape, dudes. Are you guys still watching those tapes? Oh, give it up already. Hey, Jonesy, did Jen's mom have the baby last night? Nah, still a few weeks to go. Babies have it made, dudes. Free food and transportation, all from the comfort of your very own water bed. If I was a baby, I stay inside forever. Well, I'm tired of waiting for her to pop. I can't wait to say hello to little Jonesy Jr. Jonesy Jr.? And what's wrong with that? First of all, Jen's mom is having a girl. Maybe she'll be called Jen Jr. Or one of the other 12 billion possible names. Maybe you'll both be right. 
Maybe the baby will be named Gen Z. Gen Z? Ah. Worst name ever. Oh, I don't know. How about Wyatt? That's a fake name if I ever heard one. Fake? There have been plenty of famous Wyatts. Painters, cowboys. Come on, cowboys aren't real. They're fictional like pirates and Vikings. What about Caitlin? That's a great name for a girl. You know, if she's pretty. And if she's not pretty, then go with Bertha or something. I'm going to go grab my morning coffee. Does anyone want anything? Mom is having the baby. What? what? But she's not due for weeks. Try telling the baby that. Whoa. What do we do first? Oh, wow. We're not ready. Stop. She's on her way to the hospital right now, and we are ready. Now let's quickly review the job assignments I handed out last week. I call and notify everyone on the list. Oh, no! I don't have the contact list with me. I have an extra. Jonesy. I, wi I, wit I take, get, get. Courtney brings Diego and Robbie to the hospital. You keep them out of trouble. Right, yes. Wyatt. Use the money we pitched in to get a gift for your mom and the baby. Nice. Jude. Hang on. Aloha, this is Jude. Jen's mom is having the baby. What? But she's not due for weeks. Caitlin, he's on the list. Focus, people. This is not another drill. This is the real deal. Jude. Pictures. Always, always, always have my camera on me. Take pictures of the baby. Nikki, make sure Jude has his camera and takes pictures of the baby. Good. That's your job assignment? Sad but true, my friend. OK, you guys head to the hospital. I need to tell Coach I'm not coming to work today. I'll meet you there. I feel Nikki's job assignment reflects poorly on me. Where is the trust? Would I let you down? Has there ever been a... Do you have your camera with you? <sighs> yes, I do. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. Excuse? Looking for Emma Garcia's... Ow! Masterson! Emma Masterson Garcia's room. Let's go! Room 216! No running! Yo, what, partner? Lamaze. It's a breathing technique used in birthing. Jonesy's dad is away on business a lot, so I took the classes with my mom in case he was out of town, which he is, so I really need to Fine, get... whatever, go. But if you ask me, women have it too easy nowadays with their fancy Lamanzi classes and their hospitals and their beds that go up and down. Why, when my mother had me, she was at work. Really? Yep, I was born right where you're standing. Ew! It was messy, but very poignant. Yep, she just scooped me up and finished her shift. <laughs> I love that woman. She says that's the day I made my first sale. Ew. Why walk when you can ride? All right. Everyone who is supposed to know, knows. Hey, Jonesy, you could go... Why does this not surprise me? Should I call and find out where they are? I don't think you're supposed to use your cell phone in hospitals. Don't be silly, Wyatt. That's microwaves, not hospitals. You're not supposed to use a cell phone in a microwave. See? Nikki knows. Oh, I really need a coffee. <gasps> hey! This is fun. It's like a chair, but it's on wheels. A wheelchair. <laughs> Watch it. You jerks. Hey, this 
would be a great way to make some coin. Wheelchair races. Right on. We got the chairs. All we need now are volunteers. Clear! There's no way this could go wrong. Hello? Jen, where are you? On my way. What's happening? How's my mom? Tell her I'm doing fine. The contractions are still quite far apart! Your mom says she's doing fine. Well, what's happening? No cell phone use in the hospital, please. Shh. The doctor told us she's not ready to deliver yet, but that she is in labor and it could happen at any time. How far apart are the contractions? How far apart are the contractions? Ew, I don't know. Gross. They're about four and a half minutes apart. And Nikki, I can hear you. Sorry. Did you get that? <clears throat> yes. So jump in a taxi and get down here. Oh, and Jonesy and Jude have... Rude? Jonesy and Jude have what? Caitlin? <sighs> Hi, uh, we don't know each other and I don't want to freak you out, but... I really have to tell you something. Okay. Your shoes are untied, and I think you're about to get stuck. Huh? Oh, no! Uh, 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 I'm trapped! Stop the escalator! Stop it! Go get help! Please, hurry! Uh, uh, come on! Uh, let me go! Sweet, sweet caffeine machine. I stand corrected. This is awful. Ah! Great, just great. <sighs> Booyah, Bruno! <laughs> Dude! Yikes! Gosh, sure sounds like someone's having fun out there. Isn't that? Against the rules? Yes. I'll look, um, I'll look into it. <clears throat> Hello? Attractive guy? You there? You call? Darth. I guess you'll do. Can you help me? I'm stuck. Are you sure I'm attractive enough to help you? Uh, yes? Yes, you're attractive, okay? Into my recordo pen, please? Fine. Darth is attractive. Now, can you help me? Darth is attractive. Just cut me loose. Darth is attractive. Darth! Before knives and other such tools, man relied on the only cutting device available to him. His teeth. <laughs> oh, you are so weird! Just hurry, okay? You can do it! Get it! Get it! Good work, Darth. Good boy. Oh, hey! I wasn't sure you were coming back. This must look weird. Ah, oh, you did it! Thank you. Have you ever considered some sort of odor-eating insole? These are my work shoes, and I'm under a lot of stress, and, um, I don't like him. Darth is attractive. <laughs> oh, that was up. <sighs> Me in the delivery room? Oh, no, 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 no. Her daughter Jen is her breathing coach. I'm just a friend. Jen's on her way. Don't worry, Jen will get here. What have we here? Oh, yeah, I'm sure Jen is on her way. I'll call her and see where she is. You can't use your cell phone here. But there are payphones down the hall. <laughs> payphones? Ew! What are we, cavemen? Um, cavemen didn't use payphones. See? Even cavemen didn't use payphones. <laughs> Doesn't smell like the coffee from the machine. I was texting, not calling. What is with these people? Look, Dr. Uh, Dusty. Even if Jen doesn't show up, I cannot go into the delivery room. Between you and me, babies kind of creep me out. <gasps> Nikki? Oh, but, but not your baby, of course. <laughs> I'm sure your baby won't be gross at all. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, babies in general, ugh, kind of.
kind of grody. Sorry. Um, where is Jonesy? These two brats are making me crazy. Great! Oh, Dr. Dusty, this is her daughter. Oh, good. You're the breathing coach. <laughs> no, I'm the pretty one. And you must be the doctor, so... Hello. I'm Courtney. Hi, Courtney. <sighs> yeah, hi, Courtney. So glad you're here to help. Uh, cafeteria. You can get one in the cafeteria. Everyone, welcome to Wheelchair Club. There are only two rules at Wheelchair Club. Rule one, don't talk about Wheelchair Club. Rule two... Uh, Jude, can we move this along? <clears throat> Time for race number three. Conway is a 66-year-old and suffers from... Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Okay, Grandpa. Try to leave a little gas in the tank. He is racing Vlad, a 63-year-old with mo mononucleosis. All righty then. Race fans, time to place your bets. 10 on Vlad, you got it. 25 on Gunway, yes, ma'am. 15 for Vlad, check. <laughs> Genius. Has no one ever told you not to run with scissors in your hand? Come to think of it, yeah. So, why are you under a lot of stress? My mom is at the hospital about to have a baby, and I'm her breathing coach, so I have to help. No! Wet floor! <sighs> oh! I was kind of thinking about going to med school. Do I need to take science courses to get in? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Should we stop them? I say we let nature take its course. Where is Jonesy? He's supposed to be looking after those two. Okay, my main concern right now is that Jen shows up so I don't get dragged into the delivery room. Barf! I can still hear you, Nikki. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to stop doing that. Yeah, you really should. Don't be afraid, girls. Giving birth is a beautiful <gasps> miracle. Ah! Please let it be Jen. Please let it be Jen. Please let it be Jen. <clears throat> oh, come on. Really? This is someone calling me. Surely that changes things. Fine, I get it. Okay, I get it. <gasps> wow, <laughs> who's going to blow first? <sighs> You're so bad. Um, okay. Is there a doctor in the house? Is everything okay out there? Oh, yeah. Destruction of malt property and a flagrant disregard for mannequin life. Ron, please. I'm not lying to you. My mom is having a baby and I'm her breathing coach. Give me one iota of proof, Missy! Ugh. Just call St. Michael's Hospital and ask for Emma Masterson Garcia. There's a 2118 in progress. Kids shaking a gumball machine. I'll deal with you later. Wait! You have to let me out! Ugh. Getting closer. Where are you? Sent. Come on, come on. In jail? Oh, hi. I was just, you know... Hey! You can't do... that. Jail? Finally! Come to Papa! <laughs> Where do you keep your napkins? I'm sorry. I've been trying to find a decent cup of coffee all day. This is horrible. Did you make it? <laughs> well, have you tried it? <laughs> I don't drink coffee. What? How can you make good coffee if you don't even drink it? How? Can you show me how to do it right? Uh... <sighs> Come on, Caitlin. You've got to find out what's going on. You can do this. You can be common. Oh, for Pete's sake. Coins? Ew. Is that... bad breath? Ew! I can't do it! Don't make me! OK, 
Okay, the water to grounds ratio should be no more than 10 to 1. So you take the scoop and... Show me how. Guide me. Be my hands and eyes. Uh, okay. I guess. Well, the grounds go into the designated filter drawer like this. Oh, so gentle. Yeah. Anyway, you can mix a dark roast with a medium or not. No mixing. <laughs> None. We just close the drawer and turn it on. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> turn it on. Misha, for the last time, no customers behind the counter. I have got to get my phone back. Stop following me! Caitlin, look out! <laughs> Please apply your brakes in an orderly fashion. Oh! 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 We're busted! Hospital ran a cop? <gasps> Are you two okay? Please tell me you're not hurt. We're okay. Are you okay? Oh, thanks for asking. So nice. You two crazy hijinks pranksters better come with me. <laughs> My noggin hurts. Ow. I feel so bad. You two are having fun and making money. You're not bad kids. You're entrepreneurs. And you're my new best friends. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's why this is all so unfair. According to the rules, I have to remove you from the husband. The hospital. My two such good friends. I just wish there was some loophole. Stupid rules. <laughs> this dude is creepy nice. Jude, we cannot get kicked out of here. When I distract him, you bolt left, I'll go right. What a cute puppy! Oh, where? I just love pup. Hey. You were supposed to go left? I totally left, dude. That's how come I'm here with you right now. Just keep running. So, Nikki, have we heard from Jen? No. But you're fine, right? Lots of time before the baby comes, right? Jen will be here any second, and then I won't have to go into the delivery room with you, right? Great, right? <laughs> I mean, am I right or am I right? Where did Courtney go? Uh, I believe she's having lunch with your doctor. What about Robbie and Diego? Uh, I'm sure they're fine. Jail, wheelchair races, cell phone theft. Things are out of control. <gasps> Hello? Jen! Caitlin, what's happening? Courtney is hitting on the doctor. Jonesy is running wheelchair races. Your mom is gonna pop any minute, and Nikki's freaked because the doc wants her in the delivery room. Caitlin, listen to me. Wait, you haven't heard the worst part. I'm on a payphone! <laughs> listen! Tell Jonesy to take control and stop clowning around. And tell my mom and Nikki that I will figure this out and get there in time, I promise. Okay, I have to hang up now because a piece of gum is touching my ear. What? Ew! Ah! Caitlin, hello? You! Glad to see me? No! Every time you show up, something goes wrong. I get stuck on an escalator. I wipe out mannequins. I get locked in jail. For someone so good-looking, you sure are bad luck. You think I'm bad luck? Yes, but I also said you were good-looking. Yeah, but you think the weird guy who chewed your shoes off is good-looking, so... That's not what... What are you doing here? Your mom is having a baby, right? Well, we've got to get you out of here. You're busting me out? I'm going to go with keys over dynamite. Is that okay with you? Where were you? A piece of pre-chewed gum was touching her. I don't care. Just never leave again. I cannot be here alone with her. She's full of baby. Any sign of Jen? Ow! Those moans are getting closer together. Jonesy and Jude are running wheelchair races, and Jen is not on her way. She's in jail. Jail? Jail? Ah! Jen is in jail? Would you like me to do your makeup? I mean, do you really want the baby to see you looking like that? First impressions are so important. 
I got the present. Great. Finally, someone is doing something useful. What is it? A coffee maker. Uh, that is what you got for Jen's mom and the baby? A coffee maker. Care for a cup of coffee, Mrs. Masterson? No, thank you. Why? <laughs> well, someone should make sure it works. <sighs> make me one, too. Does it do lattes? Caitlin, answer. Urgh, darn reception. Thanks for helping me out. I must seem crazy to you, but I'm not usually insane. <laughs> I'm usually very nice. I'm really very nice. <laughs> Nathan. Jen. <gasps> what did you do? We're stuck? No! Last time on 16. Jen's pregnant mom went into labor. The baby. What? what? But she's not due for weeks. But while most of us hit the hospital, Jen got stuck at the mall, literally. Just hurry, okay? You can do it. Over at St. Mike's, Caitlin got heat from the cell phone police, Wyatt got mauled in his quest for a decent cup of joe, and Nikki kept Jen's mom nice and relaxed. Those moans are getting closer together. Plus, Jude and I spread some joy and made some coin. And Jen's luck went from bad to bleh. I can't believe you used our money to buy a coffee maker. I mean, what kind of gift is that for a baby? Parents with new babies get no sleep. Coffee keeps you awake. It's perfect. Only three and a half minutes between contractions now. So, where'd you find the guitar? This is an entertainment room. Thought it might be nice to write Jen's mom a song. Oh, that's a great idea. No, she'll love it. Okay, so what rhymes with crowning? Then again, maybe she won't. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last Oh, come on! Signal! I need a signal. Ah! Well, the emergency phone doesn't work, and neither does the alarm. What? Please don't hurt me again. She's getting fairly close, so if Jen isn't here, you guys need to think about who will go in the delivery room with her. No way! Uh, why me? Nikki, it'll be fine. Jen will be here! Oh, oh. I know you're nervous. We're all nervous. Heck, this is gonna be my first delivery. What? Huh? Don't get me wrong, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. I've done a lot of reading and saw most of a video. Most of a video? You are so not helping. Anywho, time is running out, so you need to decide who's gonna be in the delivery room assisting me. Assisting you? Well, it can't be me. I mean... It just can't. The way that babies come out of women is... Stop. Stop talking. Okay, fine. Agreed. Why it is out, it's between you and me, Caitlin. Hang on. I touched a payphone today. I think I've done enough. Fine. If Jen is not here on time, I will do it. Now I'm frightened, so I need to pee. I'll be right back. Oh, where are you, Jen? Security dude's still back there? Yeah? Dude, he, he's unstoppable. Slow down, guys. We gotta split up. Good plan. Later, bro. Ugh, send me into the delivery room? No thank you, friends. Yeah, friends. Ha! Ah, more like shirkers. I blame all of you for this, you strange-looking creatures. 
Actually, mm, you're all right. Just you, though. The rest of you? Huh. Well, some cute dimples on that one. He's okay, I guess. You with the hair sticking up? Eh, not bad. Chubby face? Kind of cute. <gasps> oh, redhead. Oh, wow. You're beautiful. <gasps> oh, look. Hi. Hi, yeah. I'm Auntie Nikki. What the? Did I just get caught looking at babies? Yes, I did. <gasps> oh, my. Do I like babies? Where have you been? There was nothing to do here, so I went downtown and got a manicure. Nice! So Robbie and Diego were with you? Ooh, I knew I forgot something. Uh, okay, okay. D does anyone know where they are? Oh! Oh! <laughs> someone please go and find them? Oh! Oh! oh. Wyatt, she's talking to you. <sighs> Where'd the coffee maker come from? I bought it as a gift for the baby. Wow. Dumb. Professor Vermograph? Yes? I should fire you for being late on your first day of work. You, uh, wouldn't be the first. <laughs> what was that about? Hurry up and get into costume. I'll give you the $50 after you finish the show for the kids. 50 bucks, you say? Well then, it's time for the Christopher McGreen Show. McGreen? McGrath. I meant McGrath. <sighs> Oh, sorry, dude. Didn't see you lying there. <laughs> Whew. I don't know about you, but I am not having a frosty day. <sighs> so, what are you in for? Don't want to talk about it, huh? That's cool by me. I'm just going to hang here for a sec and chill. Whew. Yeah, definitely in need of a breather. So, uh, okay. Let's see here. All right, who wants a balloon animal? <laughs> Coming right up. <gasps> oh. 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 Time since her last contraction? Just under three minutes. Wow. Is that bad? I have no idea. I like the nursery. It's that baby smell. I just love it! That baby smell? Help! People are trapped in here! Oh, after all those Lamaze classes, I'm gonna miss the whole birth. Well, I think it's pretty cool that you're your mom's breathing coach, and I promise you'll make it. We're in this together. A team, okay? A team. Deal. Is anyone in there? Yes! Me! 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 I'm in! Here! Have you seen two little boys, dark hair, doing something bad? I think I found them. Thanks for your time. Get back here! <sighs> okay! Woo! Head rush. Now you all have snakes. Cool, huh? But I don't like snakes. Well, who cares what you... Uh... Fine! Name an animal. I want a donkey. Donkey it is. I want a donkey! Ow! <laughs> this one'll work! Oh, that's it! Give me yours! Oh, come on! <laughs> and the old guy kept farting through the whole race! <laughs> it was like turbo boost, dude! Oh, you should have seen it! Steve? <laughs> like the other guy had to stay in the lead just to avoid the bomb stake! <laughs> Steve-o! Good times, bro! <laughs> Good times! I didn't catch that last part! 
What did you say? I said, get us out of here quick. The baby could be born any minute. Oh, my. A pregnant woman trapped in the elevator. I'll call 911. Um, don't push. OK. Don't push what? I don't know. Oh, he does smell good. Oh, she smells good, too. Oh. Look who's holding a baby. <gasps> hey, what's the matter, Dimples? Do you want some attention, too? Hey, look who made a baby stop crying. Me. I did. Oh, who's a good mommy, huh? Is it me? <laughs> oh. Okay, kids, back in your cells. Big Red goes in here, and Dimples goes in here. <gasps> oh, no. Wrong baby. Wrong crib. Guess whose mommy and daddy are here to take them home. Oh, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. Time to go home with your parents. Well, maybe not your parents, but parents. You're right, dude. I should be rocking school. I'm only letting myself down. You are such a good motivator, bro. Is that what you do for a living? But of course you want to date me. I'm King Jonesy and you're a pig. <laughs> then why is it you're the only one who smells like a pig? Well, Pig Nikki, I'd rather smell like a pig than look like one. <laughs> If I look like a pig, why is it you want to date me? Because I'm not really that picky. Wow, now I'm flattered. Wait, okay, I admit it. I like you. You're a pig, but I like you. Well, you're a goof, but you're king of the goofs, so I like you too. Aww, oh, the end. <laughs> <gasps> that was so beautiful. I almost cried there. Thank you, sir. This was the best job I never had. You may as well fire me now. You fired? Pleasure doing business with you. Nikki! I just made 50 bucks as a clown! I was a king and you were a pig and- I switched two babies in the nursery and one is on the way home with the wrong parents. What? I was a pig? Not important. I was holding dimples and redhead at the same time and loving it. And then, and then the nurse came back and I put them in the wrong cribs and the nurse took dimples and is giving him to the parents instead of redhead. <gasps> what do I do? You like babies now? Okay, can you tease me about this later? A baby is about to leave the hospital with the wrong parents. Technically, it's the parents leaving the hospital with the wrong... Jonesy! Okay, okay. Buy a doll at the gift shop, swap it out for Redhead in the nursery, find the parents and swap Redhead for Dimples and get Dimples back in the crib before anyone notices the doll. This is the one and only time I will ever say this. I love you and your big dumb brain. Mwah. Hey! Did she just say she loved me? <laughs> Guess it's true what they say about a man in uniform. Oh yeah! So the ship is sinking, right? And a piece of wood can't support them both. So he kisses her, and he sinks into the dark water. A young woman stuck in an elevator is having a baby. This is what I do. Later, Shelly. Hi. Did two little dark hair... Excuse me. Uh, fourth floor. Code orange. Uh, code yellow? Code blue! All right, here goes nothing. <sighs> uh, why, oh, why do I have to like babies? <laughs> Those contrition thingies are getting really close together. <laughs> Is Jen here yet? Not yet. You hang in there, Mom. Nikki! Is, is Nikki there? No. Caitlin, go find her. Please. Yes! No, wait, I'll go. Courtney, you stay. Caitlin, 
Go! Go! Oh! Hurry. Nikki? Nikki! Caitlin! Caitlin! Where's Jen? Nikki loves me. D did Jen's mom have the baby? Where have you been? I was in... No one cares. Last time I talked with Jen, she said that you'd better stop clowning around, which is pretty uncanny. Why are you wearing that? I was downstairs doing no a... No one cares. You keep asking questions and... Your stepmom is here having a baby, and I know being responsible isn't your thing, but until Jen gets here, it is your thing. What's the big... Jen's not here. Wyatt is trying to find your brothers. I touched a payphone. Nikki's disappeared, and Courtney refuses to go into the delivery room. So if you can't convince her to and Jen doesn't get here, you're going in. Okay. All right. I'm in control of this. <gasps> How dare they? You already confiscated my phone. Isn't that enough? Oh, I do look pretty good, though. <laughs> my first real modeling gig. I miss Star. We used to be like two peas in a pod, but now I'm like a pea and she's like a duck or something even less pea-like. Um, are you a family member? No, nah, we're just buds. Well, you really shouldn't be down here. Take a moment to say your goodbyes and then you have to go. Okay. It's been great, dude. Lots of laughs, some good heart-to-hearts, and you really taught me a ton about, like, life itself. Until we meet again, you take care, bro. That was beautiful. Okay. Oh, and dude, if you're ever at the mall, swing on by the ice rink and say, hey! Jail, please! I did some recon and called the hospital. Your mom really is in labor. <laughs> A teen who tells the truth. Never thought I'd see the day. Has she? Not yet, but soon. So try and look pregnant. Get this woman to the hospital! Oh! I mean, oh! Whoa. Take it easy, lady. I got you. Oh! Thanks, Ron. Bye, Nathan. Excuse me, uh, baby people? Wait. Hi, I'm a real nurse. Well, <laughs> of course I'm a real nurse. <laughs> um, but, uh, we forgot to, um, to, uh, measure the baby's face. So, we keep the face measuring machine in the baby carriage here. Wow, perfect face size. You got yourself a good one there. Now to get you back to the nursery. Have you seen a nervous looking girl, pierced nose, big pants? Where's Mrs. Masterson Garcia? I'm her daughter. Jen! Caitlin! Has she? No! Not cool. Your mom was so <laughs> worried. Quiet. Hey, you're not pregnant. Pregnant? Look, I'm a model. Why aren't you wearing any shoes? Don't chew them off. Long story. Your mother is on her way to the delivery room. This way. So he sinks in the dark water, and then wham! She's an old lady holding a necklace. She can't write that stuff. And Jen's not here, so we've got to try and be as mature as Jen, which neither of us can do on her own. But maybe together, we can get close. You are going into that delivery room to help keep your mom calm. I'd do it, but that would only cause irreversible damage that would require years of therapy. Nikki loves me. I'll stay here in case Robbie and Diego turn up. But I'm the pretty one. Not today, Courtney. Today you're Jen. Today we are both Jen. Reliable, responsible, boring Jen. Now get in there. Okay, I can do this. I'm here. <sighs> She's here. We totally had that covered. Yeah, I think we actually did. Courtney, you should come in too. But I don't... I'll do all the work. 
I just think Mom would like it if we were both in the room with her. Really? Thanks, Jen. Where's Nikki? Switching babies. She loves me. Uh, okay, this looks bad, but it, it was an accident. See, I was sniffing the babies because you said they smelled good, and I had two in my arms, and you were coming back. Uh, panic, panic. So I put them in the wrong crib, so you gave dimples to the wrong parents, so I had to stop them and switch the babies back, or he would have gone home with the wrong family. <sighs> Is that all? What? We mix up babies in here all the time. They all look the same. It's hard not to. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Oh, your friend's mother is in the delivery room. You should join your party in the waiting room. You always send the babies home with the right parents in the end, though, right? Hmm. Good luck, guys. <laughs> not a toy! Not! So, what have you been doing all day? Mmm, nothing much. <laughs> the baby's here! Come and see her! Why is everybody moving so slow? Come on! There's a baby waiting! Mom, she's really beautiful. She really is. And it's so cute that Jonesy's dad wanted her named after you. You named the baby Mrs. Masterson? No, Jude. Emma. The baby's name is Emma. Phew. Hey, I heard some of what you said to Courtney. Thanks for taking charge while I wasn't here. No problem, Jen. Anything for my second favorite sister. Can I hold her now? What's that for? Oh, nothing. Just don't take it off until you get her home. Jude! What? Oh, right. <laughs> Say my name. Jude. Jude! Good one. 